right, so we got gunplay in the wine cellar. In the wine cellar. Man, this is going to be this interesting. I know, dope. I know. This you drink dope. wine? Yeah, I do. Okay, I do. we got to get a glass too for what? You drink oh, wine? Oh, no, she's pregnant. I she's I eight didn't even know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, not, you're not gaining no weight. That's great. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. What Thank are you guys you. having? A girl. Oh, you got a name picked out already? Osana. Osana. What does that mean? It's uh, the, from the Bible. It's J- Joseph's wife in the Bible. Something about some Bible stuff. Oh, I, was, I know. Now, I, now it explains the glow, like why she glowing. So, <laughs> oh, your first baby. Yeah. Really, girl, you about to go, nice you about to catch some hell, child. Mm. You don't even know. Okay, <laughs> just go and get ready. All right, so. Here you go. Let me get you a little glass there. We're drinking the Routini. It's the Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm, so, I rock I, the cab. You, listen, I ain't no doctor. You know, but I hey. I have a glass, but he won't let me. Uh-uh. No. no I don't let her. No, no. I don't play them games. Oh, you no. The oh, no. It relaxes the muscles, especially when well, you got a baby alcohol. sitting on that's your alcohol, pelvis. Though. But that's alcohol. It's wine. It's, it's great. It's, it's alcohol. It's wine. It's alcohol. It's not liquor. It's not liquor. What? It's, it's a not a liquor. It's, it's, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's, it's a spirit. Exactly. I don't need no spirits in my. In oh my, my gosh! So, I, I, so you did that before? Yeah, I have two kids. You got two kids. I ha- they encourage it because a lot of times we're tense. Are you having Braxton Hicks contractions Am and I? stuff? So that helps to relax her her pelvis and stuff. Relaxes it for you. Well, maybe she, but what, what she, if do she the ain't baby? feeling up to it because no she one said I was getting wine drunk. But what if what happens to the baby? Nothing. It's so it's so little that touches the baby, but it's just wine. Listen, I got two babies that are healthy as hell, both red wine babies. Okay, one one is honors on her way to graduate to become a commercial contractor. Okay, okay. all right. Now my son off the chain. I wish I would have drank more wine with him because he <laughs> hyper as hell. I'm like, did, did it not work? So you have made me suffer for eight months. Eight months pregnant, girl. You, I wish. How old are you? Twenty-four. Shit, that's why. <laughs> Shit, that's, man, I'm, I I got pregnant, second baby, thirty-seven years old. Took, I was on a walker. Oh God. That's what. How your baby John? How your baby John? Yeah. So that's why she gonna slap right back. She gonna yeah. get like nothing. Yeah. Well, girl, you I knew what I was so doing. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers, man. Cheers. We gonna cheers, cheers on your behalf. Yeah, we gonna sit for you. Yep. We gonna sit for you. you. <laughs> Listen. Mm. A lot going on out here, and a lot since you sat down to really kind of yeah. give your perspective on the the culture, the climate, and and Ooh. so many just tragedies have happened. I think the last time you really got into it is when XXX Tentacion, um unfortunately died out yeah. here in your yeah. city, yeah. you know. Yeah. And so, um, and I don't want to talk about the love and hip hop. I want I want you as one of the OGs, people who have you you grew up in the streets, both sides of the fence. Mom is Jamaican, dad is Puerto Rican. Like it, it just it. it I I want to start off with the rapper Young and Ace. Are you familiar with him? Young and Ace, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, then they have the they they got some beef with uh. The other boy name was... Yeah, I can't even think of his name. Um, with the... Yeah, 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 he got the... Yeah. yeah. But nowadays, it's like, it's almost like a death sentence to become a rapper. Yeah, it is. When you was when you was out here, I mean, you still out here, MMG. Yeah. Like, but, you, 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 you free. I don't see no security or nothing like that. I'm not trying to breach you, nah, you know, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, most of them can't walk. You know, you got yeah, your chains yeah, on and stuff yeah. like that. You know, yeah. um, the, the, it's, it's just so much like, what do you think about them now making rap a death sentence now? Um, it's, 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 you, you know, rap, you got to look at the origin where it came from, where well, you got to start from the beginning. Everything has a beginning. This is where we're at now, but it had a beginning and it okay. started off with, 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 with what we were going through in our neighborhood with starting with the police remember mm-hmm. let's go back now let's yeah. go back let's go public enemy i was gonna say nwa, NWA public, NWA, en- NWA, public enemy yeah public right. enemy you know what i mean right. and 
But when they were doing that, when they were when they were making that music, they were they were basically hipping people. Right? Mm. They hipping too many people. So now they they didn't let they didn't make that, oh, this is the this is what the shit is right here. This is what you gotta listen to. They right. made guns, pussy, drugs, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like like glorifying it, murder, they glorifying it. You know what I'm saying? And it threw you off track. If you really think about it, it was M- it was public enemy, then it was NWA. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, 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 like the way the way it was set up, where it was like conscious to now you unconscious, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're just doing you just doing anything that 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 that's destructive to your culture, destructive to your household, destructive to your health, to yourself, to your money. You know what I'm saying? Spend all the money on the jewelry, do all of that. So now when you don't do all of that, people looking at you like, all right, what you rapping for? You know what I'm saying? You rapping yeah. for the gold dude? Nah, we rapping to like now, like the way I see it now. Like I used to be the one to blow the bag and, and stuff like that. Now, now I, I'm I'm different. You know what I'm saying? Like the the money I make now, I I use it to invest in my house and my home right. and my future and my in my in my in my wife. You know what I'm saying? And my child. Like I didn't know that, but I had to go through there. Hip hop is going through there right now. We in the we in, we we killing each other. We we doing all the drugs, we selling all the pussy. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come a time where everybody that's doing that's gonna grow up. Hip hop is now at that stage where it's now it's the biggest genre of music in the world. You know what I'm saying? You got everybody, anybody, and everybody could be famous tomorrow morning with a single. And you know what I mean? It's watered down. And that's the scary part because so, there's no artist development. No. And now everybody can make their own bag yeah. and have their own money and create their own reality. And 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 in their reality, they wanna they wanna they wanna whack some shit. They wanna kill some shit. They wanna pimp on some hoes. They wanna you know what I'm saying doing what they you know. But after a while, people gonna grow up they're gonna grow up if they live that long you know what i'm saying what about them putting the bodies in the songs just blatantly saying names now let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure lupus diabetes and certain cancers check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box now back to the wine paris yes you released a video of you and dewan blair in the bed angel love from basketball wives baby daddy this was my husband Mm-hmm. This was going to be my husband. You would have still had me just like he had her. But you crossed the line with somebody in my house. You brought somebody in your house? In my bed. And you're cheating and lying to me saying that you're out of town and you're nine minutes down the street. He brought somebody that was 400 pounds. A big, thick, chunky guy. I see you have a fetish of chubby people. But damn, 5'8 and 350, almost 400 pounds, that's beyond me. You see me walking here, I don't look like that. You see the class and the sophistication that I have. Watch this full program and other exclusive content on www.tashaklive.com. Houston, get ready for a New Year's Eve experience that will go down in history. I'm live on stage at the Bayou Event Center. First doors open at 8 p.m. and the show starts at 9 p.m. Followed by an after party that might shut down the city. And let me take the time to thank our sponsor for this event, Rockstar Wireless. And if you're looking for reliable and affordable wireless service, Rockstar Wireless has plans starting at just $19.99 a month. That offers unlimited talk, text, and up to 15 gigabytes of high-speed data. Visit rockstarwireless.com now. Hurry up and get your affair in order and get ready to bring in New Year's Eve with me, Tasha K, on stage. Tickets are selling real fast. So reserve your seat now via my website, TashaKOnStage.com and I can't wait to party with y'all in Houston. That's Who I smoke. But, but see, when you when you young and angry, I, I know, I feel, I feel them. I ain't, I know it sound crazy, but I feel them. I feel what they going through. I feel like when you when you when somebody stepped on you wrong and they did you wrong and 
And they took one of yours Of course you're gonna feel like You wanna take some of that One of theirs Two, three of theirs You know what I'm saying People You know what I mean it's But just, I feel like it, When you was coming When you was coming up There was no The culture of snitching Was I, it, You could it, it was snitching But you just never knew about it You yeah, know what I'm saying Yeah Nah, they just they just saying fuck nah, it. I'm snitching cool. on myself. Yeah, yeah. And I'm snitching on all you yeah. niggas too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look what's going on with YSL. Yeah, yeah. The it's, clothing brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's 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 bad out there, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Um, I think I think it's gonna get to a point where you know somebody somebody gonna have to take charge and really like show show how to really unite the culture instead of keeping it so divided and I'm getting money I ain't gonna I'm gonna stop your money or if you get money I'm gonna kill you cause you getting money like it got to be a way where we could do like how other races do mm. how they stick together other 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 uh, artists do you know mm. what I'm saying you don't have you don't have shootouts at country western shits or comedy shows or you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying like 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 and like we the only ones that really you know what I'm saying we we detrimental to ourselves man and it only happens here you travel outside of the United States yeah, like, yeah. they don't that that shit doesn't go down nowhere else nah. but here yeah. and it decreases the black population yeah just as much as abortion yeah you know just yeah. as much as uh uh just uh, lifestyle diseases and things like that just just suicide yeah. i mean it's it's like modern day i look at it as modern day genocide yeah you know i don't even want my son like real talk my son is not here right now i have a three-year-old son my mm -hmm. son is in africa yeah he is in an islam-based society wow you know what i'm saying yeah. they That's don't dope. the police don't even carry i mean they their military has guns yeah but the police don't carry guns yeah. you know yeah and all he knows is is love from love. other black men yeah. you know his grandfather's his grandfather's 91 years old wow moved better than all of us and i was yeah. just like I, the one place i did not want to raise my son was here because I was afraid of what he would get caught into. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially like the industry that I work yeah. in and yeah. everybody want to be a rapper. Everybody want to be TikTok famous. Mm -hmm. And when I see boys like like making songs and 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 you saw what they like you clearly saw what happened to Bobby Schmurter. You know, he put it in a song. He did 6 years. And he wishes every day he would have never done that. Yeah. But yet these young boys, it's kind of like almost a badge of honor yeah. to come out here and name the list of uh, dudes they, they, they killed. And then when the feds feel like they've killed enough, then they're going to round you up. Yeah. They, they you know, because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that that really put in work, you know what I'm saying? And they still, they still alive. They still functioning. They might be getting even more money. Mm -hmm. After the work they done put in, you know what I'm saying, in the streets and stuff like that. So, you got kids thinking that they could be so lucky. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not. You know what I mean? They, they thinking it's luck, and you just nah. It's 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 they're doing senseless. I right, look. I feel like this. All right. Killing and murder is two different things. Okay. Killing is business. Murder is emotions. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I never heard that before. Yeah. So when it's like when you when it, when it, when you break it down like that, a lot of these little niggas is killing over emotions. They're killing over bitches. They're killing over whoever's stunting on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now when you getting into the business of killing, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got people on another level, on a higher level that handles situations, you know, a little different. Um, they're not gonna do the young boy shit jumping out the car broad daylight. And shoot up a car. And, and, yeah. and no, you knowing you're gonna get caught. You know what I'm saying? You're just doing it like just to do it. That's emotions. That's yeah. wild shit. You do it organized, yeah. just like the United States. <laughs> Just like the United States. I'm just saying this. It's very true, though. It's business. It's business. Okay, yeah, so right. now, so you're so right. so now they look at that. You got you got the young you got the young wild iron swingers. They look at that and they see that and say like, okay, yeah, I could do it like that. Nah, it's it's, it's rules to this. It's rules to life. It's rules to karma. It, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's rules. You know that that you that you really. If they don't know it. 
Nobody told them that The rules The real rules They all in jail And they all dead So they going off Of what their little homie That's on hella perks And and, and lean mm. Told them That they heard From somebody else mm. That was on <laughs> Something <laughs> that You know what I'm saying So they're like Yeah I'll do it too And next what thing you know that yeah, Exactly There's <laughs> yeah. no more teachers Out here You yeah. know what I'm saying There's no more And they, it's, it's, it's all Indians No chiefs You know what I mean And that's the scary part It's like Who's leading who Who's advising I don't want you to go low here you know what I'm saying? How many can you have? I'm good. You know, Look, I'm she's like, uh, uh-uh. uh. No, <laughs> you know, good. y'all pregnant together. Oh, what listen, y'all are pregnant together. He gets every heartburn. See, anytime I'm going up, nauseous. I'm in the nauseous. gym. I'm in the gym. I'm like, yes. I'm nauseous as hell. She's like, I'm in the <laughs> toilet throwing up. I'm like, yep. That's yeah. love right there. How sure. long you been married? Congratulations um, on yeah, that. Yeah. So, way. so, um. So I don't know if we should like say that yet because Uh oh. We got stuff that we got planned. Oh, as a surprise. Yeah. For your Yeah. I yeah, got no, you. No, you know what I'm saying? So okay. we're gonna get married soon. I'm just not, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like every, everything is a surprise to The everybody. courthouse is okay now. You put money on the on the real estate, you know. Yeah, it's it's Look. you know legally legal, legally legally you know everything yeah. is you know, but I want to make it special, like Aww, you, know, you know what I mean. So yeah. and I want to. So we're just waiting for a production on how we're gonna. So real quick, so let me get into your business real quick. Then we're gonna yeah. go back to this, yeah, you good this, this OG mm-hmm. shit because mm-hmm. I like, I feel like your your voice needs to be heard out mm-hmm. here and people listen to you and you've been through so much on the internet. You said so much. Um, I mean, you were around before the internet was really like the internet, yeah. you know. Um, how did you guys like me? What made you want to settle down? I burnt her. You burst her. I burnt her. Burnt her. How did you burn her? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's how I met her. <laughs> I burnt her second I met her. You you did voodoo on her? Nah. So what happened was she was she was walking through G five picking up a, 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 a something to eat, picking okay. up her salmon sandwich, salmon okay. burger, and I was in there. Um, just left uh, Ross's uh, album listening party uh, for the last album he dropped, okay. and um, I went in there and I was smoking a blunt. And she passed by, and and it went, oh. and it burnt the shit out of her, and she jumped you bad. Branded her. She had from jump. She jumped bad. I jumped bad. We like ah, they like <laughs> break it up. I'm like all right, you know what I'm saying. So um, <clears throat> then next to you know, um, I got one of her friends' numbers, and somehow, some way, looked on her friend page and saw her, and I was like, fuck her, I want her. <laughs> I swear to God. When you said burnt her, at first I was like, what I you know. mean, burn? Like, you better break that I down. Know. Yeah, that's, 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 that, that's going to be a cliffhanger you know, for the school, segment. Look, old school, like. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> oh, so the rest is history. And then the rest is history. So yeah. how long y'all been together? Um, to, It makes a year the 23rd. Oh, girl, you got pregnant fast, huh? I don't know, man. She it's Cuban. Okay. She Cuban. So it, it's. I think it's that Spanish Cuban. Oh, she's better drop him out. She's better drop. Pop him out. Know. Pop him out. Let <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, girl. I got uh, married in three months. Was pregnant within a week after we got married. I, I was going to get birth control. They told me they couldn't give it to me. I was like, I "What was you mean?" My birth control the day after I found out I was pregnant. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She had the, the appointment. appointment. Yeah, it always happened like that. Yeah, and you I'm like, like come on now. Hang <laughs> you like, we're rolling with it. Oh, my God. I'm rolling now, with it. Now, your first baby, how many? This is uh, This be? is my second one. Okay. Uh, yeah, my son is 18 now. Damn. Yeah. My grandma would say, you shooting blanks. What's taking so long? Oh, no. Nah, you know how they, you know yeah. what they say in Florida now. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I, I was chilling. I was chilling for a while. I was like. None that's going to show up I later? To, no, 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 no. I was, I, I, after that one, and I, it was real messy with, with his mom. So yeah. it was like, I, I don't thought, I didn't think I was going to ever get, you know. So your pull out game been strong. Strong, <laughs> boy. Dun, 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 dun. 
<laughs> like that's so good. So y'all, y'all are really doing this and yeah. marriage and the baby. Yeah. And you say you in real estate now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. That's so what's up. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank new you. New year you. and everything. New baby. You ain't yeah. about to get no sleep. So you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 So you Cuban. <clears throat> Okay, Afro Latina. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, cool. All right, she's beautiful though. Thank Congratulations. You, you. you better Thank take you. care of her now. I, I do. You I better. Do. I do. Okay. <laughs> and she got her daddy in her life. Yeah. yeah <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Listen, sure what do you say about your name? What her daddy say about uh, your name? At first Gun, it was, gunplay. Yeah, at first it was like, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, because she just came out of a, a, a an abusive relationship. Oh my so it was like I, I had to show and prove. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So uh, at first, you know, I was skeptical. But you okay. know, once you, you know find me, that nigga yet? Who? The one. The one. He's in jail. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> he got like 15 years. Or Damn. It was that bad. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't look like what you've been through. No, not on board. Yeah. Just your first name. I don't want your last name. What's your first name? Uh, again, because I said Shea. Vanessa. Von Shay. My sister told me Vanessa. I was like, how you miss Vanessa? She was like, it's Von Shay. I'm like, I, I know you was Von Shay. I said, who's Vanessa? <laughs> who's she talking about? Look, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, well, congratulations. I'm so, I'm just so happy. I love love, especially like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's amazing. I've been looking for it for so long. Really? Man. Yeah. Yeah, cause it, I, I, well, I wasn't, I was, I was on and off, and I gave up. And then, um, by the time I, I was like during my <clears throat> my bounce back and from uh, my habit and stuff, trying to kick uh, coke and shit mm-hmm. like that, uh, you hit rock bottom. How'd and you, you do just, that? My dad still ain't kicking. I self, so, it's um, I, I did it, my man. I just you want better, man. You when you want better. Congratulations. Yeah, on I that. just I was tired of it. You yeah. get tired of it, and you know that was the. If, so you if, just stopped cold turkey. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. it was especially like when I did relapse. Yeah. Um, did the next morning DMX diet. So I was, and that was like one of my idols. So I was like, all right, now nah, this is definitely a wow. sign. Definitely a sign. You know. <clears throat> my dad. I mean, he's still kicking. I don't know how. I was like, Dad, how do you? He said, I've been doing this since he, me, yeah, Whitney he, Houston. He gonna have to. He gonna have to keep doing it. <laughs> or he. <laughs> Listen, it be like that. They got to keep doing it because, like, if they stop, it it might like, fuck some up. No, I'm telling you, his nerves be so bad. Like, I'll be like, Dad, but like, you have to understand. Like, he grew up in Jersey and New York, yeah. you know. Yeah. And him and Whitney were like neighbors. They, oh, they, they, for they, real, they, for yeah, real. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh and shit! And he, you know, Wendy gone, and he's yeah. still here. But he was like, I don't do nothing else though. That's yeah, it. Nothing, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But see, it's getting like nowadays. You got you that. You, you got to trust it like that, cause yeah. boy, they got that shit that's in there. That shit in there. That, that fentanyl that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had any uh, scares? Yeah, I was. Um. Um. He gave me. One of my homies gave me a wrong bag. Bag. It was um, ketamine. The fuck. <laughs> it was ketamine. It's a, a cat tranquilizer or something like that. What the hell? Where he ordered that it, from China? It, that's what they. I don't know what the fuck where they get that shit from, but it's ketamine and shit like that. He had two C, two C is ketamine and something ketamine and coke, ketamine and Molly something. I don't and know. People like that shit. And it's some wild shit. I was like, I don't want that. I just give me the coke. He gave me the coke. And I thought it was coke. I hit it right there. And sometimes when you already high, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and you hit, you take a bump or something, you don't even feel it because you already flushing. You know what I'm saying? So you like, and then I'm just like, I'm not feeling nothing. I'm still talking to him, and I'm still high off my other batch that I had, my real batch, and I ain't feel nothing. And he leave, and then I I keep hitting it. I'm like, why this shit ain't hitting like that? (laughs) Ding, 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 ding. And next thing you know, my nigga, I say, oh, that's when I started feeling funny, like out of my body. I felt like I'm out of body right now. Like I felt like I can't move. Like it feel like just to move this, like like just to grab this glass right here would take me probably about thirty minutes because my hand doing like this. Uh uh-uh. uh. Because I'm feeling like I so I got stuck and I went and they, and they said I went into a K hole. That's what they said. I that's what the homeboy said I did because I said, boy, I'm I'm going, boy. I don't know what you gave me, homeboy, but 
And then he, he realized and he was realized like, oh, he shit. almost killed me, nigga. Yep. And he say, uh, he say he went into a K hole, like I. And then did they take you to the hospital? No, nah, I just, I just, I just. You just went, went to sleep. No, I went through. I like, I, I stuck through it and just try to like. At first, I, my mind said, okay, what, what's going on? Because I had, I had did some. Um, Years ago, I had uh, like had a like an aneurysm or something in my brain because I had smoked some K two when I was on probation, and it popped something. I don't know, something happened in my head, and I fucking wigged out, and I was in a a, a drug induced coma for like three days. They had to because I was wigging, and um, I was I felt kind of like that again. A little bit like that So I'm like Wait a minute Is this shit Gonna, gonna happen again Cause last time It was so crazy I was throwing up blood And it was all kind of Wild shit so From K2 to From synthetic. K2 That synthetic weed Damn. Yeah That shit put Wendy, yeah. uh, Wendy Williams son Out for a minute Like that it fucked shit, up his brain I don't know, She had to boy, fly him To Honduras I Had a bad batch Yeah <clears throat> Cause I cop from Somebody else I usually cop from This one A-Rab And he already He has like He has medium He has He has low Medium and high Mm. And I'll take like You know what I'm saying Like a, I'll sprinkle a little bit Of the high Like version that he has And you know And and I'll be good I'll smoke it It's just like regular weed When you got mm -hmm. the right shit <clears throat> This time I, He ain't have none I go somewhere else He got the same bag I open it I take one hit I put the joint down I'm playing video games That one hit I'll start going Tripping Anyway so I'm thinking I'm going through that again. <clears throat> so it's like, nah, I'm like, this is more, this is more nervous system. This mm. is more of my nervous system. This is not no mental shit. This is more nervous system. So I you could, thinking while you stuck. Yes, while I'm stuck, I'm That's thinking, I'm, I'm making sure ever. I'm like, all right, how's my heart? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, okay. That's what I do when I have yeah, I, yeah, man. I, mean, I gotta like, check yourself. I, you know, you gotta be like, well, I'm you still check here. Yourself, <laughs> yeah. boy, check yourself. I'm like, okay, I'm not sweating. Okay. I'm like, okay, my heart rate is all right. So, okay, I'm not gonna have a heart attack. So this is in my mind. My mind fucked up right now. I said, let me just, so let me just feel how this shit is going. And I'm trying to like move. Like uh, it was just a mission. But uh, eventually, I ended up crawling in the bed, going to sleep, and you know what I'm saying. And uh, that was. How was the hangover? After that, I was that like, shit? it was, it was, really, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't no real hangover. You just felt like it. Just I, I can't really, really remember. I was just so happy it was over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't even gonna hold you. I was I've like, I heard people talk about doing shrooms. Oh, I and love that, shrooms. And that shit, it does them the same yeah, way. Yeah, I went to one of those when you took a. I took a little bit too much shrooms, and I thought I was gonna have a, a seizure too. When I thought I was, I was like, I'm tripping balls right now. Like I'm looking at the ceiling fan, the little popcorns in the ceilings was like tripping. I'm like, oh my god, this is too much. And then my eyes start going back in my head. I'm like, dog, do not have no seizure. I was on this. I was on this chick's couch. We was both on this shit. Oh my god! Oh my god. It was oh way Lord. back. In now, the day. How do you feel about them uh, now having clinics to administer shrooms under a doctor's care because it helps? I think with that's anxiety. good. It do. Yeah. It do because when when you do shrooms in 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 a moderate dosage, mm -hmm. you can you can cure your your own. Like you can stop your own habits. You can cure your own. PTSD you can you like you can help your own shit you could you can even plan for the future you could I, f I feel like that's a that's a, a zone where you can manifest the most that you know Damn. what I'm saying you can fix yourself that's why they out there in Hollywood you they loading fix, up in the you desert you can fix there. yourself with that shit like really? it's really yeah you know I did DMT too what's that dimethyltryptamine oh shit that's what you heard of ayahuasca no, I have this not. This comes from the plant, the ayahuasca plant. It's like kind of like um, um, peyote, okay. like like kind of like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, but it's not a psychedelic because it's an actual. What it is is um, di dimethyltryptamine is in secreted from your pineal gland when you dream and when you go to sleep. Oh, okay, so when okay. you it's responsible for the dreams and the bright lights when you when they say you know about to die. Yeah, and um. And um, what they did is in the ayahuasca plant, and they they brew it and make a tea. They drink it. The effects last from six to eight hours. That's a long high. Yeah, and 
Um, but it's I like you go. I need to come down at the thirty minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm good. Especially them good edibles. <laughs> yeah. Edibles. I had an edible last twenty four hours. Oh but no. Go ahead. No. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ingested too much. <laughs> but it's like they call it the spirit molecule because okay. you actually go somewhere where there is no time. You're, but you're still here. But you're not. I can't explain so it. It was like it's some Inception shit. I, yeah, kind of <laughs> like yeah, you could say that, but but it's just it's um it's more fractal uh shapes and stuff and okay. you see beings. I know it's like you have to do your homework for me to talk about it and no, really break I, yeah, it down. I watched it's gonna... the whole documentary on shrooms. Yeah, and yeah, I was like, but... damn, they legally they we had a shroom center right up here by my building. Are you serious? Swear to God, they administered. Was that this? <laughs> Get that you literally, I, I want to try shoes. I mean, right I mean, I know I do shoes, but I want to try the, like what they got. They got the doctor. They they put you on a monitor and they monitor your vital signs while you go through your trip yeah. in, the, in the hospital bed. And so once you're done and you come down, they they let you go. You know how many hours that is, though. They do. Hey, they white people out here. How much they paying? For I don't know how much they paying, but these white folks is paying for it. And they put in intravenous they, or yeah, they that let no, you just eat it? No, they administer it like by you take it by orally. Okay. okay, and then they hook you up to monitors and stuff and like all, that to make sure that you're not, I guess, having a seizure yeah. or, or things like that or yeah. having any like adverse um, side effects. What? But um, yeah, they're doing it to cure depression, anxiety, all types of wow. stuff. And it's freeing people. And, and people are saying they only did it one time. And they haven't had like a person that like me. I used to have panic attacks back in the day. I don't have them anymore. Right. However, people that suffer from chronic panic attacks and anxiety, once they did the shrooms one time under a medical facility uh -huh. or maybe a trained, what they would call like a witch doctor or something yeah, like that. Yeah, shaman or something. Yeah, yeah that's they how said I did my it DMT. just goes away. They free themselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, like that's some really you like. See, that's what they say. They help shit. with depression, helps with. I'm and telling it's you, natural. yeah. Yes. And, and it's not, and you're not addicted. It's not addictive. That's what they say. You don't, they you say don't, you don't want to get addicted you, to that yeah, shit. You, <laughs> because first of all, it's like you you can't really drive on that shit. You got to take time out, be by yourself, or be with somebody you love. You you yeah. you know what I mean. So you can have a good trip. So you know what I mean. I get yeah. They it. say that you got to really just you know plan yeah. for it. Yeah. And then once it's over, you're done. Yeah. It's not something that people typically yeah. get addicted to. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, like listen, I'm not advising anybody to do no drugs. Please seek, seek your doctors first. Seek your doctors. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's why I said yeah. the white folks is paying them doctors. Yeah. You know when the pharmaceutical companies join the race. Yeah. yeah. You and know, there's some money. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there's there's some some money. something involved with some paper somewhere. Exactly. Paper trail. There's some fucking money. But no. Um, as far as like the you said it's, it's called the what the, the it's DMT 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 it DMT. stands it's, it's short for dimethyltryptamine and like I said um, what they did was they it, it's it's already in your pineal gland you know what your pineal yeah, gland is okay yeah. boom it's it secretes for when you when you uh, when you have dreams and when you die right yeah. before you die and uh it's in the ayahuasca plant but what they did you know you know motherfuckers they figured out a way to <laughs> get that shit up out of there and turn it into a powder damn yeah so they turned it into a powder not now they even turned it into a vape so it's already like commercialized damn near like yeah it's but they when they put it in a powder form it lasts only now 15 minutes stopwatch 15 minutes like the second you hit it and you go stop watch 15 minutes on a dot you are back on earth and you ain't you're you're like you know what i'm saying like it's no after effects it's no like but you the shit that you see you can't explain and it's not like and and it's it's and it's there's so no lasting real. side effects like no. it's, you it, hit it so much every 15 minutes around the clock see, and then by the time you're 40 so you stuck Nah Something <laughs> I, I, Well I don't know The long term effects yeah. Because now we're about to see But I had did it And I don't have to do it again That's how it That's how Like for me to tell a story It's like <laughs> Alright we're gonna story. wrap this up <laughs> <laughs> No I need a, I need an example Of this damn No story. okay Please. look Just uh, give me okay, an example Nobody's gonna you, call I, you crazy I, 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 Nobody's gonna call you crazy But this is I promise you. I promise you. Okay. We're not going to call you crazy. <laughs> I just want to hear. I just want to hear. Fair game? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, 
the setting was a living room mm -hmm. in Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. um, somewhere in Austin, and uh, it was a shaman. It was a couple of my friends. We was at uh, Rolling Loud. Sat there. I've done two years of research of this DMT before I did it. Met my driver that was driving us around. He knew somebody that had it. We meet up with him. Now he gives us a two hour briefing before we do it. And I've been studying it two years already and still mm. was not ready for this shit. So hit, I hit it. And my, when my friend, uh, uh, when my, when my homie hit it first, and he went like I hit it first, but it wasn't. I didn't go there. I didn't go nowhere really. My homie hit it. He went bang zoom. He starts wigging. I'm like, oh my god! I said, I want, I want, I want what you gave him. So now it's my turn. I hit it, and then and I really I was trying to go there, and I go there. So the second I hit it, I hold it in, and I blow out. The shaman in front of me said, you're good. And when he smiled, his smile went to the roof. <laughs> it went like a cartoon, like his face contorted and went like, like it was like, and oh my God. And then it was right behind him was a bath, you know, the men's bathroom sign yeah, symbol. Yeah. I was just a straight, it was just like that. It was, he was in, it, it was a neon ring around it. It had, it was as tall as the ceiling right over the shaman so when his smile went up now i'm looking at this being right here it got a trench coat the i don't fuck? know it got a trench coat on with the and it's all outlined everything is outlined in neon blue like this neon blue like this blue right here oh shit i fucked it up yeah, okay. but it's like that neon blue no, right there okay. and it got on the buttons and everything and the arm lifted up over the shoulder and and his finger went like all the way down and it touched me right here on my fucking <laughs> just like you can touch and feel somebody pressing in on your on your leg just like that and i didn't freak out i i was just in awe and i i didn't want to freak out and have him be in front of everybody looking crazy so i could you know hold my yeah. composure so once it touched me like that that's when i Boom, I went into the wormhole. I was in the wormhole for about doing about a doing about a thousand miles of light years, light lightning fast down this damn wormhole for about, I'm gonna say like two like two minutes. And I'm snapping my fingers, slapping myself to make sure I'm alive, because where you going, you don't there's no time. Your heart goes on a rhythm. On the time, it's time yeah. it loved up, loved up. So you yeah. don't feel your heart. So you, I'm trying to like, I'm like, you just don't, you just, you don't know where you at. You're doing the, a, a dollar down the damn wormhole. I get shot out the wormhole. I'm under the earth now. I'm in space. I know. It's okay. I'm, I'm no, in, it's okay. I'm, I'm with I'm, you. I'm there. I gave I gave the story before <laughs> uh, um, uh, on, on, on an interview a long time ago, but, but these guys were on that kind of vibe. Okay. So, <laughs> so for me to say that on a normal, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's like all right, no, it's not like, good. No, it's not but good. Look, yeah. So it shoots me out. I'm under okay. the earth. Only thing I could remember seeing was I was so close to the to the or like atmosphere that okay. everywhere I looked was the earth. It was uh, like, I'm under it, but on the corner side and I'm watching. And I, and at this point, that's when I said, okay, now you take a mental picture, take a mental picture, okay. know what's going. Cause at this point I could, I, I can, I'm, I'm, I'm not going through the wormhole and it's butt wigging me out. Now I'm actually calm and I'm doing the same amount of speed, but I'm under the earth and I'm watching this shit. And I said, now take a mental picture, really look. And I looked and I see the damn continent. I see the, 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 the clouds. I see, like, I see it like how you see, like, on the, like on TV, yeah. like with the space shuttle. And I'm looking at this shit and I'm like, and I'm, and I, next thing you know, I'm boom, back in the one. And I, that, that happened for about, I want to say about, 30 to 45 seconds and then boom I'm back in a wormhole for another two and a half almost three minutes then boom I, I'm out the wormhole now now that's when I open my eyes actually okay at this point my eyes are open and I seen all the godheads like the Jesus the Buddha 
the 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 all all the the, the small with yeah. the arms, all that shit, just like, <laughs> and like a in like a in like a, in like a bright light. Like right in front of me that I only I could see. Nobody could see it. Yeah. Like it's just right there. And I'm just watching it. And I'm like, y'all see that? Houston, get ready for a New Year's Eve experience that will go down in history. I'm live on stage at the Bayou Event Center. December 31st, doors open at 8 p.m. And the show starts at 9 p.m. Followed by an after party that might shut down the city. And let me take the time to thank our sponsor for this event, Rockstar Wireless. And if you're looking for reliable and affordable wireless service, Rockstar Wireless has plans starting at just $19.99 a month. That offers unlimited talk, text, and up to 15 gigabytes of high-speed data. Visit rockstarwireless.com now. Hurry up and get your affairs in order and get ready to bring in New Year's Eve with me, Tasha K, on stage. Tickets are selling real fast. So reserve your seat now via my website, TashaKOnStage.com, and I can't wait to party with y'all in Houston. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. It's going to do like a small introduction. Yeah. Just so everybody know who you are. You are the ex of Krishan Rock. Correct. You were with her for how many years? About five years off and on. Do you feel that Krishan Jr. is yours? I feel that there is a possibility. Oh. Krishan knows that I'm not just going to let her not be accountable. Mm. It's no reason that we were sleeping together and I can't get a paternity test. You slept with me on Blue's birthday. I didn't know that. Yeah. Are you shocked at to see how on the internet right now with Krishan, a legend that Paseki made her eat her at seven when she was like 10 or something? I was seven. About the you made me eat your I remember that too. You said I'm not going to speak specifically on their situation because I don't know, mm -hmm. but I do know the Malone's family history isn't the most clean cut, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past them. Watch this full program and other exclusive content on www.tashaklive.com. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. And they're like, nah, and then the shaman is like, and he was like, um, he was like, this is what they've been trying to hide from you. This is what they've been, this is they, what they pulled the wool over your eyes. You could actually see now. Now you can see. Like, he's t it's a shaman. He's coaching me through this experience. Yeah. So I, the Godhead stopped. And then now I'm looking at everybody in the room, the ground. He's playing tones on the speakers. And the ground is like waving like this. And, and I'm scared to, to walk because it looked like you finna... <laughs> yeah, because you still like, flung. Yeah. So yeah. he's like, now this, this is the, the tone of, of of happiness. This is the tone. He was playing different tones. This is the tone of love. And then every time he'll play it, it'll do a different little motion on the ground yeah. and on the walls and shit. And it was like a grid. You see a grid. Everywhere you look is a grid. Like an actual yeah. grid. Like this is a, a computer simulation yeah. grid. Like it looks like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't, like, like computer symbol for real. Like, I need to interview this goddamn shaman. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, Let, I still yeah, got she, his number. I still the, got I'm his for number. For real, we need to get him up in here. And he, he know he, he, he he's, <laughs> he's real. You know, what I'm saying knowledgeable about this shit, and he really will walk you through like what it. You know, he gave he gave us a two hour briefing, like I told you. So I'm sitting there like I know everything that he's talking about, but now when he's giving it to me, I'm getting nervous. Pause. I'm like, oh shit, dog. What the hell, dog? I'm like, <laughs> what man, did I sign up for? What the Bro, Let me out this car. Then when my <laughs> homie started tripping, I kind of got nervous. But I said, dog, I got to try this. I've I, yeah. I, I studied this for so long. I was just like, Ooh. so, but, um, you know, everybody's face looked perfect. They had no flaws in their face. They looked oh, like wow. wax figures. Wow. So everybody had no flaws. I went outside. I saw the, like there's a circle of a thing called a circle of life. It's like a design, like a design with mm -hmm. like that. And like, you know what I mean? But you you see it everywhere in the sky when I went outside it was it was like like that the, this color blue mm. damn that's crazy it's, it was the sky was literally like like this color blue right here that's but it was broad day 
What? But it was broad day, and it was this color blue. And when and 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 you see in um, um black the black uh uh, uh circle of life in the in the everywhere you look, everywhere your eye look, and then like it was just it was it was something. So it was a beautiful experience. It was a beautiful experience. Now, now when you say this is what they're trying to hide from us, what was the shaman saying? Like because when you close your eyes, you literally feel like you like your eyes are open. It's the I cannot explain it. It's that's why. Now, was it's he not, talking about Jesus and Buddha and stuff? No, he's talking idols, about or? no. He was talking about like what I'm seeing right mm -hmm. now is the real. This is real. This is like like they have a veil over our eyes as humans, and you know what I'm saying. Like they in teach the us what they want us to the, know. Yeah, exactly, and they they show us what they want us to see. But there's there's a there's a whole realm that's right here like in this room between everybody that you can see when you're on dmt put it that way mm. you can't see it like because our eyes ain't trained for that like literally we can't like you know what i'm saying like the spectrums and shit you know you can't mm -hmm. but if you when you on dmt that pineal gland remember i told you that dmt is in your pineal gland and mm -hmm. that's responsible for your dreams so the shit that you can see is like like you dreaming but you not some mm. people see beings they go and they talk and they it's it be a thing you know what i'm right. saying and it's like like that one trip that one experience was enough for me like i got homies that be asking me to do it now and i'm like <laughs> no i don't know homie i don't know man you know? You're like, no, yeah, I gotta get that sharpen up here. You gotta I, connect me with him because I want him to come talk about, yeah. you know, the spirit realm and because you know the Indians, you know, the Native Americans of this land, you know, they were heavy on that. Yeah, you yeah, know? that's and, how they communicated with. Yeah, you know what I mean with 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 higher with deities and. You know what I mean, yeah. ancestors and all that. Like it's yeah. you know they they make it taboo. They make it taboo. Speaking of ancestors, for some reason, every time you've tried to talk about you doing spiritual work, for some reason, every platform has always tried to like change the subject. Have you noticed that? Like when you talked yeah. about, you know, you doing voodoo work to, oh, yeah. to, to beat your life sentence. And it was yeah. like everybody in the room just froze up. Let's talk about you know, this. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, why would you not want to talk about that? Because, like, we is, like, you know, whether you're Afro-Latina, mm -hmm. whether you're black. It, it, voodoo, I think it was put out there in, like, a, a negative way. Yeah. But to this day, like, it's still heavily practiced, you know, overseas and even here. And even in the Caribbean and the islands and stuff like that. So, for some reason, like, when you, whenever you've come out to talk about you having to do spiritual work to protect yourself mm -hmm. from the inevitable, mm -hmm. you know, things that you know that if you don't do this, I'm going to come, I'm going to have to do this life sentence. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you resulted to your roots, mm -hmm. you know, because you're a Jamaican and Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, that, 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 was the, that was my last resort. It was like, I got to go through the root. Basically, yeah, you're right. Now, I was told you're not supposed to really talk about it, though. Um, I that's mean, why you, you don't hear about it that much on the internet. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you're not so. You, I mean, it's, it's, it's like this. If, if, if I'm here talking about it and it's, it's shining a negative light on it in a way where, um, like, um abusing my power or I'm using it for oh nigga play with me boy I'll cut a goat and that mm -hmm. nigga gonna die the next day or or the nigga kids gonna wake up with with, with three legs or you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying like it's like you got people that 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 <clears throat> that'll talk about it in that way yeah. and stuff like that that's the the, the part that you don't do because they're not using it for protection for, using but, it for I'm put, yeah I, I'm yeah I'm using it for protection that's my roots and the way like people play out here they they play dirty they ain't playing fair and you got a lot of haitian you know what i'm saying like like women that i know specifically mm. like one specifically mm. that i've been going to war with on a spiritual warfare like she's trying to basically you know take you out of here and everybody i love you know what, what? i mean yeah so it's like it's real, you know what I'm saying. So I I don't use so it. So you just for that. do it for protection. For protection, not not sending it back to her. No, just like no, just protection. Protection and 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 there be people that. What you do to this lady? Uh, look, I was, 
I was in, you know, I was in the game. You know what I'm saying? I was uh, in the game. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The game. And um, I got out the game. And she ain't like that. And that was my last employee in the game. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Basically. Yeah. And she ain't like that. they say you got to... She ain't like that. Two ways out. Yeah, I just Hell or death. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in the in the in the female game. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And so that was the yeah, last. Yeah, you did talk about like. Yeah. You know, you used you, you didn't. Yeah. Even know. Nah, that's that was you know past. what I mean. But Pimping yeah, and stuff like that. So that you know what I mean. It was it was just a a, a dark part of my life. So wait a you know minute. what I'm saying? I hate the way my brain goes. So she, <laughs> she's a Haitian woman. Yeah. She was an employee of yours. Yeah. And she does root work. She did. She did. Yeah. And so the men that she slept with, the husbands, the brothers, the, <laughs> you just wonder like what type of, when they say soul ties are real, like, and when you sleep with a working girl, a working woman, like, I, I wonder what type of shit she transferred to them. I don't know what. Like you, you know what I'm saying? It's like you just gotta be careful. That's why I'm, I'm. I'm. That's why I'm just done with it. I was. I was really done with it for a long time, but um, I had got like I said into that into one of my rock bottom stages. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, and uh, she was she was part of that rock bottom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And once I got a you know my mind frame got back right and. You know, my paper got back right. I ain't want that no more. I didn't want that paper no more. You know, because I didn't know. I don't, honestly, I didn't know how to make any other paper than street money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, for a long time. So it just, I just got to the point where it's like, I'm, nigga gonna die out here. Nigga gonna go jail out here. Niggas, you know what I'm saying? Everybody around me dying, going to jail, getting caught up, this, that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I'm, I got music, I got talent. I got, you know what I'm saying? Why am I still, you know what I'm saying? Doing, you know what I'm saying? It's just. Was she in love with you or something? Um, probably. I don't know. That's, that's on her, but. I'm just saying, like, what would make her want to take it that far? She's at, still to this day trying to protect you. And she's yours? still to this day for, you talking almost a year now. Yeah. She, she'll tell you. Like, it's bad. Like, it's she. Be, Seriously. Yeah. 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 So, okay, give me an example of what type of things that you notice that you know that will come from her, something from your past, and she's sending root, she's sending or doing work towards you. Okay. Give me an example. Okay. I'm, I'm going to break it down like this. Okay. When I didn't, I didn't know, when I just met her, we both was in our bag, right? Okay. All of a sudden, both of our bags... Start looking iffy. Right. So now it's like, all right, we hustling a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And a lot of other things are popping up where we got to shell out more money. And another thing will pop up and it's another emergency and more money. And then it's just a lot of things was going on where where we, it was it was now like fucking up our finances and we're not I'm not I'm thinking I'm like look maybe it's my past energy and shit like that let me kind of like back off from you for a little bit because I feel like I still tied up my energy still tied up in the streets and it's fucking your shit up I would rather let my shit get fucked up and you talking about with her yeah we both together like okay. like she was in her bag I'm in my bag all of a sudden we get together we're having a ball for like a month Flying here, flying there, buying this, buying that. All of a sudden, for for some reason, all of the money that I have set up for the next month, all the money she has set up for the next month, nothing. It's it, it, I, I'm not gonna get into details, but it got it's gone. fucked right. up. Right. And now it's like I'm I I got to the point where I was like, this is not normal. Let okay. me go see my people. Okay. Get a reading. And see okay. what's really happening. Okay. We get the reading. Boom. It comes out. Nigga, she done. There's somebody that done put 
whoop the whoop on you. She don't want the child to live. She want what? you her to die. What and she fuck? just she just before that she just got out the hospital. We this is like after all this, this is when we started seeing. That's why you was in the hospital. Almost died. Like like long what? story short. And you're twenty four years old. You look healthy. I know it was a thing with the. It's it's a whole situation. My mother, my mother, was at the train station with my son because he lives in Boca. Okay. He works down here. Some something happened where she had to pick him up, take it to the train station. Mm -hmm. They get to the train station to take him up there to Boca, and the train coming down the track like a hundred miles an hour with, with all kind of smoke. You know how you go ready for the train. You right. walk to the thing and the shit comes. She had to jump back. Like and, and I call her phone maybe thirty sec thirty minutes after maybe maybe three minutes after three to five mm -hmm. minutes after I just call her phone just I said let me just call my mom I ain't talked to her for a couple of days you're not gonna believe what just happened I'm like what okay boom maybe a week after that my my son's mother uh called my phone and asked me specifically she don't speak her phone she heard she like yo what. She like, did you put any anything on me, man? Any roots on me or something oh, like that, God. man? I said, no. Nah, why you say that? I said, I don't use it. What you do? What you? Why would you? Come on now. She's like, no, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Cause I've just, I, this is my fifth car accident. I almost got into today, and it was raining that day. She was like, five cars. five car accidents almost got into that day. That day. Now, a lady that I met that I recently fired, but she she was um. Handling a lot of uh, administrative business stuff for me, right? Okay. And for my publishing, for like she was getting all my music in order. Cause now at this time, I'm getting my life in order. My music, I'm not getting paid for my music. Why? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, let me f let's see what the fuck. So she's handling all of that. She's doing all of that. She's, we, you know, we're on the phone constantly. We're now, you know what I mean? Like um, getting some headway with my publishing and my royalties and stuff like that and everything's looking on the up and up and i and i told her i said listen man i don't know what's going on this is before i find out about yeah. i said i don't know what's going on but my mom and my baby mother almost died in damn near a week span two weeks span i need you to wear a helmet when you go outside when you jump in your car <laughs> Right, joking, just like that. She laughed just like you. <laughs> laughed just like that. Why, yeah, hell, man. why what? the next day, maybe the day after, she say, yo, what the fuck? Somebody T-boned her at the stop sign. She said, I should have wore a helmet. She's okay. Because I ain't talked to her for like two days. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I guess her phone had messed up in the crash or something. I'm not trying to get in the car. She's like, you're not even going to believe this. I'm like, what? She like, I got into a car and they T-boned me at a stop sign. They ran a stop sign in my neighborhood doing a buck. Damn near a buck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not not a buck, but doing... Face. I'm sitting here like, what? So now they said that when they, when they, when they, when they came down and told my my Baba Lao what happened it was like you know all these people you know every every woman in your life that 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 you're dealing with that you love or whatever is uh you know what I'm saying is is in danger them ones that's got to that's that's that that they're targeting you know what I'm saying so I'm like all right bet so now you're going to now we're going to spiritual warfare this is I'd rather we pull up on each other and spin blocks and run <laughs> drills and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Smoke ops and <laughs> let's do that shit. So you knew did so the reader told you exactly who it was that put yeah. the work on you. Yeah, told yeah, the, the island she was from and everything. Yeah. And it was like the island she was from. That's why I was like, yeah, 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 that's her. So you you just did something to break that. Has everything been going good though? Oh, perfect. <laughs> yep. Yep. She tried. She okay. tried. She tried some more stuff again, and um, you just keep you a weekly appointment. At uh, yeah, man. That's just like it's 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 to the, got a doctor's appointment. It's to that point, man. It's Damn. like the, the 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 further you get in this business, man. The the you know they just they at you, man. They at you, you know. And, oh, and when you try to just pull yourself together, I'm just trying to pull up my bootstraps, bro. Yeah. I'm just trying to get myself together. It ain't like I'm sitting here stunting on you niggas and going, look at this, look at all my money. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sitting there doing that to, 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 to piss y'all off and shit like that. Yeah. I'm just trying to just have my little, my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner, bro, and go to bed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to survive and arrive alive, man. Yeah. That's it, man. But they don't want to see that. They don't want to see that. Now, is it Santa Santa Is it Santa Maria? Okay. San, Santa is that your form of? Well, it's yeah. See, you have because you you're have, Puerto Rican, so I mean that's that's kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's ba- it's 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 solely it's um, the root of it is Yoruba, okay? Okay, Yoruba. That's African. You it's know what Nigerian, I'm saying? So yeah. I that's that's like really what I practice, but in in Miami, it's predominantly Cuban. Mm. So Santa Ria would be. I even get a translator. She translates for me, or one of my partners, uh, my um, my godfather in the in the religion, okay. um, um, uh, translates for me. So it's like um, I'm kind of like both. You know what I'm saying? But I mostly is Yoruba. Like I like I would call instead of Eligua I would say Elegba Mm. you know what I'm saying Eligua would be the Spanish I stick to the African and say Elegba Papa Elegba you know what I'm saying for for my um, one of the Orishas but yeah okay so I mean I'm you don't like I said you don't hear very many very many people talking about it because I was told you know I was always told like especially like I remember coming up with my my grandmother um I remember she asked me to get something out of her drawer in her room. And I go to her room. I'm probably like 11 years old. And I opened up her drawer. She was like, look in the second drawer. So I'm like, okay. I opened up the second drawer and I see dolls in her drawer. And they each had pins in them. And I'm like, what oh, is Oh, she do that. Oh, that Apollo. I said, what is, uh, I'm, I'm thinking like, this is weird. Why she got pins through dolls? I'm 11 years old. Like, I don't stick pins through my dolls. Yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck? But as I got older, I was like, holy shit. And those dolls, my cousin just told me the other day, represented her children. And I want to say Uncle David, Uncle Jeffrey, Uncle Eyes, Auntie Diane. Four, was it four of her kids? And Uncle Eyes. Four of her kids, the, the dolls that she had died. So they believed that she sacrificed her own children. Oh, man. And then she died, I want to say a week after like her children died all in like a two two year span oh man yeah and Damn. there's only out of the kids there's only three left my mama her sister and my uncle they ain't got no dolls no nope. right, it, it, was, it was only it was only it was like only four her. or five dolls okay. <laughs> listen <laughs> so when i heard i was just like that makes sense like why would she have those dolls like you know, with pen, it was pins in the dolls. It was man-made dolls. It wasn't was like doing, dolls you can go like. Yeah, they, you see, you have a dark side to the religion too. You have a, you have, you have a light and a mm-hmm. dark. You have a positive. You have a negative. It's with everything. It's a yin. It's a yin. I don't even know if she was doing negative shit. You know, I'm well, just saying because you, you got kind pins of and dolls nine times out of ten. I don't think. That, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't think that. <laughs> I want her to get massaged right here. I don't think that's a massage. Or <laughs> In a way, like the way my uncles and aunt just died, it was just so tragic. Like I have my auntie who raised me. She ended up having like very, very bad diabetes and um, two like heart like bypasses. And then they were amputating both of her legs. Legs wouldn't heal. Then breast cancer takes her. Mm. My uncle, he, you know, he was a drunk all his life, ended up dying of liver cancer, just mm. de- decomposed on shit pretty much in front of the family. Mm. There was no health insurance, no nothing, anything like that. One of my other uncles, he just died in his sleep. Apparently his kidneys stopped working. He didn't pee for days, but wouldn't go to the damn doctor. Mm. And then my last one, AIDS. Mm. Like they found him in a trailer. Um, I guess maybe he had OD, but of course he had full blown AIDS. Mm. Is what it, you know what I'm saying? And so, and it's like, damn, like why so much fucking like oh, motherfucker can't just can't die of natural causes? Like you feel me? <laughs> it's like whatever. God damn. 
<laughs> so my cousin was telling yeah. me, I'm trying to tell Whatever you. Whatever happened to like, heart attacks, man? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that shit out of style. Like, so like, yeah. shit. You know, so like, Damn. you know, look, I'm not going to win. I stay prayed the nah, fuck up. Real, like, from everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but just to hear you talk about it, because I never forget when you was on uh, Drink Champs. And you were yeah, trying to, they did. They, they were like, "All right, so <laughs> <laughs> shout out." Like, no, yeah, I'm, not boys, trying to, yeah. I'm not trying to say I'm doing it on you. He's like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> them nigga won with that." But that's boy. good. I'm glad to see you protected. Speaking of like yeah. spiritual work, I feel because the way like you know take off, unfortunately died. God bless the dead, man. That, like it was so spiritual. Soldier, it happened man. on Halloween night. The song, his like the the video. When I watched his video, that shit so spooky. I said, "What the fuck?" It, you spiritually feel it, yeah. And then the ne- like that night, he drops the video, he dies. And then a few weeks before that, he was like, "I want people to give me my flowers now." Now, yeah, don't wait you till seen I that? Die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of like it was. I don't. I felt like somebody did some spiritual work on him. I don't. Know. I don't know. That shit. That shit is. Uh, that's deep right there, but you know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, like you know, before uh, a good friend of uh, uh, the families of the whole MMG family, mm-hmm. uh, Black Bo, mm. um, before he passed, he made his rounds to his family friends. When I seen him, I we talked for an hour, like just sat there and talked. And like maybe a week or two before he passed, and he was telling me shit that I was like, "Why are you telling me this?" Like, like we like, like he was telling me some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, and 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 I'm just nothing. It, it wasn't. It didn't alarm me like like. But I was just like, damn, boy. Like I ain't have a real deep conversation with my homie like this. For years You know We always on the run We always moving man It's always I see my dog in yeah. passing We on a run On tour Or if I'm over here I know he's over there or Whatever But we always You know what I mean We never really had That real sit down Like that for years And when we talked I was just like You know what I mean Damn, that was a dope conversation I had with my homie, man. Like, I'm like, dog, I ain't really talked with him like that for for a long time. So and you I, felt and, uh, and then a lot of people, every, when we're at the funeral, everybody else said that too. They so like, he man, just came making yeah, rounds. He, yeah, he talked to everybody that, you know what I'm saying? He he talked to everybody. Everybody was like, man, that man sat there, man. We sat there and talked for hours. And I'm like, he pulled up over the crib, talked for hours, pulled up over here. Something said, he don't normally up? do. Something he don't normally do. You know what I'm saying? And So you you think he felt that it was his time? He I just, don't I don't know, cause he, like he's no he was normal. I don't know if you if you know something is like really fucked up, you know what I'm saying? You but he wasn't the type to really like tell anybody anything either. Like he not yeah. the type to be like, oh I'm fucked up or I got something wrong with me. He's just gonna keep going and let whatever's gonna happen gonna happen. He's just that type. You know what I'm saying? So So was he murdered? Um no, nah, he had a heart attack. Okay. He had okay. a heart attack. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it was uh it was just like when I think like before you go like you get like warnings or something like that man or or you might be I don't know sometimes people might be in a state of mind of <clears throat> you know worrying about dying and bringing it upon themselves sometimes yeah. you don't know I'm not saying that for his I, situation I've done it with fucking uh, uh, tickets I start worrying about like I'm gonna get a traffic ticket uh, th- Come on. I swear to God, I'm like, I know I'm gonna get a traffic ticket. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck am I thinking about getting a traffic ticket? And guess yeah, what? Then you get a traffic I get a fucking traffic ticket. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not thinking about that yep, shit no more. Yep. So whenever I have something that I feel like is negative gonna mm-hmm. happen, I do not give it Mm-mm. any thought. Mm-mm. Because the thought, and then once you profess it, like once yeah. you speak it, <clears throat> that's why I tell people, do not tell people what your goals are, yeah. your dreams, because once you speak it, the universe receives it as if it's supposed to happen yep. or already happened. Yes. And it doesn't know the difference. Yes. So you yes. have to be careful about yes. what you say. Yes. So like, but like Tupac and the Machiavelli album. Yes. Like that shit, that That's shit. That's crazy. He brought you. And then when you look at it, he's been talking about that so long. Bury me a G, closed casket, X, Y, and Z. It's yeah. like, damn, Pac. Like he went out. He's just saying that I'm not going. I'm gonna die before I'm 25. Yeah. I'm like, pop. What say, the fuck are you doing? Choose, choose the way he, the way, the way, uh, the way he go. 
he was just saying all kind of, I'm like, yo, but he, you know, he had a whole generation feeling like that too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like niggas, like I see death around a corner. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he had real, he had really had like, he had everybody's feeling. He was a voice of everybody's feelings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, and, and it was like, but, but he took that upon himself, man. And he could have, he was on. I think he was on the way after that war. After him warring with with Biggie and them, I think he would have he would have moved on to something else that would have mm. really changed the game. To you know what I'm saying to in a more positive direction. If he would have maybe got shot and maybe survived, and Biggie would have got shot and maybe survived. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It might have been a thing where it's like, okay, now this is what we're really gonna do. We're gonna. Put, pull together all our resources and become our own distributors as musicians, as label heads. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of going to, you know, you know who to go get the bag, we could keep this amongst ourselves. Like, but I he Tupac had an Achilles heel, Suge Knight. Yeah, yeah. That, he they did. said that nigga was truly he, the devil. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Did you ever have any run like? Like any nah. runners with Suge Knight, you nah. even know him? No, no, no. You just like hell, nah. nah. I'm from Miami. We <laughs> he he might have been spooking all them other niggas, <laughs> but not here, not here, not here, oh, Tasha. <laughs> man. Has there anybody in the industry you just you ever said, you know what? I'm just not gonna fuck with that nigga. Nah. Nah, you see what happened at the <laughs> BET Awards. I have no chill. I don't I get. Know you I know that's why I'm saying. Is, is there anybody? Nah, I don't. Did you ever say it? Like, nah. You know what? I'm just gonna hit the about face and nah, let this nigga. Nah, I can't. I'm from Miami. We, we we. It's a it's a thing called boy. We love the wallop. Mm. We love the wallop. Mm. We love the what's up. We don't see none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. We from the crib, boy. We from Florida, boy. Uh, none Florida of that. Don't don't, none no of that. Get, none all, of that yeah. shit spook no nigga, man. For real, for real, bro. Like it really don't. You know, not 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 saying oh a nigga super thug or a nigga don't uh fearless. You just, you just but stay I just ground. yeah. I, I'm not from the. You not. I'm not gonna play with you now. I'm not gonna sit there and poke you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna poke the bear and oh you niggas ain't nah 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 nah. I respect you. I know y'all niggas hitting and killing yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. is too though. So it's like you know when once you get those kind of vibes in the room, it, it, after a while it be cool. You know it, you it be the ones that be sitting there be wanting to. I'll do this I'll do that You got to prove that You got to stand on that We gonna make you stand on it mm. Factually You know what I'm saying We gonna see We gonna see what, we, gonna, we gonna test you You know It's just like with anything else But If a nigga bring that shit I have every right To do what I, I need to do You know what I'm saying So yeah. you know I don't I don't like thinking about it And And and, and Cause that's a lot a, 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 Something that really I had to get over to Waking up thinking about murder <laughs> What the fuck? Hell yeah, man! Waking you was waking, of, murdering somebody or somebody? Mur mur murder on my mind, man, for real. Like, like always thinking about it. Always thinking about either me getting murdered or murdering somebody. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, and that, and and like old people, old old situations that you never really handle, and you just like one day you just be like, dog, like damn, dog, I wish that nigga was dead, dog. Damn, dog, I should just still do that shit, dog. I could still, and then you, you know, just, you wait just to, just to take him out. Yeah, just, take not saying out. not saying I'm acting on anything, yeah. but you, it, it goes through my mind early morning, throughout the day, before I go to bed, and it's like it's not healthy. That's not healthy. That's mm. not healthy. You, you know what I'm saying? You waiting for somebody to try just so you cause you want to just take it out on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's situations where there's people like like you know what I'm saying? Like they Do you think that had a lot to do with maybe your drug use too? Yeah. Okay. That too. That too. I think that that's you know, definitely a big part. Give you yeah, that. it give you a <laughs> you say shit especially say, yeah. you say shit you don't really mean, you do shit you don't really mean to do. It's yeah. you know what I mean? And um that was definitely one of them, the anger, the violence. Mm-hmm. Just thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? Not say I'm sitting there riding around with choppers looking for ops and shit <laughs> like that, but I would just be sitting there like, 
get I, drunk and be like, man. I should have dealt with that nigga when I had Yeah, I could have, man. I should have just gone. Like, like, stop. Don't think you know what to think about. Why don't you think about you some see money, man? That grocery store, like. Yeah. But if I see that nigga one, matter of fact, I should call his phone and say, man, fuck nigga, man. Look here. Nah. You know what I'm saying? It's, I think you got the worst of both worlds. You Puerto Rican and, and you Jamaican. Jamaican. Man, it's, I got the devil and Jesus tattooed on my back. Big as hell. I was going to ask you to speak of the tattoos. With Jesus with Do the Do you gun. have swastikas, swastikas like tattooed on you? On my neck, yeah. What the? F <laughs> now you know goddamn way. <laughs> oh, they about to cancel me, boy. <laughs> they about to cancel listen, me. Listen, listen. No, I was gonna ask, like, why? Why do you have the the? Is it the Nazi symbol or is it's, it? It's it's called a swastika. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, the original swastika, like you know, Hitler turned it into something evil, but it's really what was it like Chinese or? Japanese or someone an mm. Asian symbol for prosperity, love, and happiness and stuff like that. Mm, that is that so, what Kanye was trying to say? Yeah, I when guess. He, what Kanye well, trying to say a, a lot of shit. This nigga, yeah. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Paris. Yes. You released a video of you and Dewan Blair in the bed. Angel Love from Basketball Wives, Baby Daddy. This was my husband. Mm -hmm. This was going to be my husband. You would have still had me just like he had her. But you crossed the line with somebody in my house. He brought somebody in your house? In my bed. And you're cheating and lying to me saying that you're out of town and you're nine minutes down the street. He brought somebody that was 400 pounds. A big, thick, chunky guy. I see you have a fetish of chubby people. But damn, 5'8 and 350, almost 400 pounds, that's beyond me. You see me walking here, I don't look like that. You see the class and the sophistication that I have. Watch this full program and other exclusive content on www.tashaklive.com. Houston, get ready for a New Year's Eve experience that will go down in history. I'm live on stage at the Bayou Event Center, December 31st, doors open at 8 p.m. and the show starts at 9 p.m. followed by an after party that might shut down the city. And let me take the time to thank our sponsor for this event, Rockstar Wireless. And if you're looking for reliable and affordable wireless service, Rockstar Wireless has plans starting at just $19.99 a month. That offers unlimited talk, text, and up to 15 gigabytes of high-speed data. Visit rockstarwireless.com now. Hurry up and get your affairs in order and get ready to bring in New Year's Eve with me, Tasha K, on stage. Tickets are selling real fast. So reserve your seat now via my website, TashaKOnStage.com, and I can't wait to party with y'all in Houston. Yo, but yeah, he yeah. was trying to say, he was like, this was the original, like when he posted it to his Twitter before, Elon ended up taking it down after Mr. Free Speech. It was <laughs> not nothing. It's like that really is a symbol of love, prosperity, happiness. Like you could, you could Google it. Anybody can Google it. Yeah. It's very simple, but they be like, no, nah, don't Google it. Now, nah, fuck that. What you just say, it's about this. This is a swastika, Nazi, ah, 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 it's anti-Semitic. Yeah. They don't even want to hear, like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Hitler did so what he like did. So it's like you trying to take something that was put out negative and make it about love again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, Just like how the word nigger was, and, and, was put out as, as a negative kind of. And I just, you know, that was the, I was young and I, and, and I, and. How old and were I, you? Huh? How old were you? When I, oh man. When you got it. I don't know. I was like 20 something. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm Guys, 20. he's well into his 40s. Okay. So stop. She say, well. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it. When you 20, you do shit. I, listen, I've interviewed. No, I'm, ex, I'm, this is what my, my podcast. I'm 43. 40, th 40. Okay. Well. So listen. No, I've interviewed ex like KKK members and they still have a lot of the, you know, hate symbols. Yeah. 
on them. But yeah. if you meet these guys, you would never know that this is what they used to, to yeah. practice. And yeah. it was based on how they were raised. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of them are now uh, uh, volunteering, opening up community centers, helping in black communities, giving back and stuff like that. Doing what they got to do from. <laughs> you, hold up. <laughs> What's up? When, you, when I was thinking about it, um, back in. Uh, you know, you know what, what what sparked my interest in even knowing what the swastika was meant for and all of that. What? Um, the only class in school that I went to um, was history, right? Okay. And I, don't, I love history, so we they made us watch Schindler's List. Oh man! Okay. That movie. When they made me watch Schindler's List, <clears throat> that's when <clears throat> I started like saying. Like, so who the fuck is this Hitler nigga now? Yeah. Like, I heard, but I ain't heard. And but the I, name Hitler. And I'm like, and then, so I started reading books on Hitler and, like, stuff. Like, little, you know what I'm saying? Try to, you know, back in the day, it wasn't on internet. So right. I couldn't Google. So you had to go with what was <clears throat> So, what I, you know, my mama yeah. maybe, you know what I mean, tell me, you know, stuff. and But then once um the internet came about and I started, like, really doing, like, research on who Hitler was and I was like not saying anything that he did was bad I mean was good you know what I'm saying he did a lot of you know atrocities to humankind to Jews to all races but um the fact that he had such a mental like hold stranglehold on 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 these people even to and this day I, even to this day yeah. and it's like what if he would have did that for good mm. what if he would have did that to you know what i'm saying for good it's like that like i'm i'm like i i, I was intrigued you know what i'm saying by like how he could do that like mentally you know what influence i mean influence or influence, influence a race of people. A race of people, but to go and annihilate another. another yeah, race. that's crazy yeah. to me. That's crazy to me. That's just, just cra- and they kept it silent, like it was. That's secret. crazy to me. That's just like yeah. it's like a, like the ninth eighth wonder of the world to me. Like like it's like what? How is he able? To How can you control? do that? But then when you think about it, they doing that now. Now you know you gonna have to elaborate now. They doing that now. Mm. They doing that now. They doing that through COVID. They doing that through uh, climate change, electric vehicles, all of that. They doing that now. Y'all don't even peep. Elaborate. Let's start with climate. Once change. they can have, they, they once they they're controlling everything. The climate change. They they want they want you to ride electric. So they could shut your fucking car off. So you can't go nowhere. So they can see exactly where you're going and they could tell you where you can't go, where you can't go, what's going on. Woo woo. It's total control. Yeah. He just like Hitler. Hitler had total control of the population. Yeah. And to, I mean, to the Elon point where Musk they did roll out saying he wanted to put chips in the brain. I'm just saying, like, I don't want them to come, you know what I'm saying, like to come get me for you know what I'm saying? But it's like We're just sharing opinions here. Right? Yeah, so it's 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 like it's like um It's just evolved in another form. It's another form of Hitlerism, man, going on, man. Like like they they killing us. They depopulating everything. I like y'all see it. Y'all uh, I can't. And the climate it, change, let me tell too. you, when I saw that they can make or create a hurricane yeah. or a storm. Yeah. Yeah. They took out my hometown. And when I tell you, Panama City, Florida. Yeah. Hurricane Michael. Michael. Them projects been there since before time, okay? The farmland, everything, but it was all owned by blacks. Oh, wow. Hurricane Michael came through, all them blacks left. Insurance companies took forever to write checks. They are still, they still are refusing. So guess what? People are deserting their land. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Deserting their houses, just letting it go, and they've they've gone to start abroad somewhere else. And now they've come to swoop in because we were black people on a farm, but guess what? The ocean is right here next to our farm. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, <clears throat> and so they wanted that water because at first they didn't want that water. They wanted the beach, Panama City Beach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And so once they populated what out What you mean there, they didn't want that water? They didn't want the water because it wasn't as 
as clean as they thought it was. But then when they saw how blacks have survived for years off of that water, yeah. now they want it back. So now oh. they've, ta- they've come to buy up the land. People not paying taxes on it, so yeah. they come and claim it. And now they got subdivisions going up where the projects used to be. Yeah. And these houses are four or $500,000 on yeah. water. Water that I grew up on. I used yeah. to go out my back door, jump over a gate, and I'm right there at the marina, yeah. catching crabs, catching yeah, fish. Yeah. But now all that stuff is is gone. Wow. And this was one of the worst hurricanes ever. It was what year this was? Uh, Michael was 2017. 2017. 2017, yeah. 2017. Yeah. Yeah. And they just left. And so, I mean, the videos online of, like, the roof of the project. These projects made out of, like, they fucking prisons. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they, they use the same material they, to, yeah. to make prisons. And yeah. it's like, how the fuck, fuck. Yeah. does a hurricane yeah. take down? Yeah. How long these these cement buildings been down here in Miami? Hurricane ain't never took them down. But all of a sudden, yeah. these, these foundations are gone. Yeah. And now this land is just deserted. And when I tell you, you go there now, you can't even recognize it. It's like, what happened to my hometown? Boy, boy, I'm telling boy. you. So I get you on that. I said climate change. They have the, the ability to control climate. Yeah, they can control the climate. And it's the rules and regulations that they doing, putting into play that 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 they you're taking your freedoms away you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. okay well i want i need, i want the freedom to drive a goddamn uh gas guzzler man mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like nigga want some combustion <laughs> going on man. Fuck all that oh, shit oh they gonna make them expensive you know what i'm saying so now it's like you got electric cars where you know in a minute man like if you don't say you don't get a covid shot say you you don't you you jaywalk or some okay boom we you, you just lost thirty minutes of your car today like they can do that they can implement that they can now they have they they made it in a way where now they can control they can control every aspect of your life under the guise of climate control we're trying to save the planet under the guise of we're trying to uh 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 save lives covid bruh. We're not going to even get into that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like they they under the guise of equal rights, equal rights for gays and da 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 da. da, da. Now they say, oh no, nah, fuck that equal rights shit, nigga. We going into your schools and we gonna go to your kids. We want your kids. Matter of fact, the the, the teachers that's teaching your kids is gonna be teaching you the agenda of the equal rights that we was just. We just wanted equal rights. Now mm-hmm. they say, nah, we just want to, we just want your children, teach your children this shit. Okay. We want to pervert your children. My son is in my life. And then, and then say <laughs> you don't want that. Yeah. You're homophobic. Yeah. You, you're going to prison. Like. I was shocked that when I brought my daughter to Florida, that they made me sign a paper. They said I couldn't enroll her if I didn't sign this paper. Uh, what the paper said? Um, if she wanted to unenroll herself from school, there was nothing I could do. If she wanted to unenroll herself from school, there was nothing I could do. But she's still not legally grown. Oh man! See, I that? said, "What? What? What's this paper again?" So, man, I'm just like, yeah. And there was look, nothing I could legally do to stop her. How old is she? My daughter's fifteen. She shouldn't be able to make them kind of decisions. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Even it's though like I made taken, that same thing. They're taking I, I, I the en- rights from our kids. Like I en- I en- disenrolled myself. Yeah, I but quit. like, but I mean, <laughs> but I get it. Nah. it's different. But like, for them to be able to take that right from To that right, yeah, as say, a parent. Listen, like. Then the abortion laws. Look at the abortion laws. Look at the abortion laws. Yeah. If, a, if, a, if, a, if a 12-year-old, 10-year-old, 11-year-old. White girl, white girl, I'm not going to say black girl. We're going to say a white girl mm-hmm. gets raped, gang banged by 30 niggas and, and, and gets pregnant. And she too young to even carry the baby. So the baby, she got a her, miscarriage. Her life for the baby's life. Imagine the women that got to go through that. Like You're going to prison. Right now, she got a friend right now. They had twins. One of them died. What was it? In birth or at birth? After birth. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and she's gonna do four years in prison now. Was it? Why, why? And she has one baby out, and there's nobody to watch that baby. So now they want to take that baby and put that baby in. But why would that be her fault that one of her babies died? That's the law. It doesn't matter if your baby dies. You're going to go to prison. They're trying to give her nine years. They copped out the if four. You, if the abortion, you don't know what's with the abortion state. I just thought if she she, she was no she, she she she's high risk pregnancy. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. If they have to go inside you, if they have to go inside you with the with the medical tool to remove anything. If you have a miscarriage and they have to go in there and take out the rest of the stuff that was in there, you could have had it in the toilet. But you had to go there because you got to take out the stuff that's in there. That's from have you get if they have to put something up in there, you're going to prison. I didn't know it was that bad now. It's, I mean, I already knew that they took away our right to choose, which is which is really nah, fucked it's up. Super but I didn't know they bad. were bad. I didn't know I it's super think. bad. I'm talking about like people scared so like we lost millions of people due to covid on and the vaccine of, and okay yeah and on top of that people are dying from lifestyle illnesses that can be prevented and cured shit is in the food cancer's hitting every which way diabetes kidney failure all types of shit so their only their only plan now is to make abortion Ill- like illegal to the fact they're trying to like rebuild up the like American population because when the population goes down, stock markets go down, workforce goes down, and we become a vulnerable country. Yeah. When it comes to war and things yeah, like that. Yeah. Or even when it comes to commerce. Yeah. So I see where you're going with that, but like for them to the afterbirth has to come out. Yeah, and they have to put a a a, a tool up there to take it out. And then you're going to prison. You cannot have an abort that abortion law. You can't have an abortion. You can't have a miscarriage. Your baby cannot die by any means, or you are going to prison. That's how the, that is a. So now you're now not only do you have people, and they talk about life sentences. They starting off with some wild numbers, depending on what state you in, and so now you got. The baby dead. You got the mama in jail. Gonna come out. Can't get no job. Gonna have to go back to doing what she know how to do or live whatever. So she's really about to do four years. That's her friend. Yeah. The OBs tell us with my high risk, like, I will be investigated if something happens to my baby. Like, we had our situation when I was on my miscarriage. This shit is not a game. Planned Parenthoods, OB clinics, and you will see the change of women that comes into our establishments now to get care because they've been shut down. Yeah, it went from it's hood butchers in there now. Put it that way. We we go. It was old white OBGYNs like 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 yeah. like like. You hear do 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 music elevator music type vibes yeah. type shit. Now you don't, don't know hood shit. Now you got hood hoes in that shit. What you just said? I was telling you, you want to know those details unless you're pregnant now. Going oh, yeah. To it. Yeah. So you're going to all the visits. Yeah. It's throwed off, man. We have changed doctors, what, four times? Yeah. Almost now? And yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. So it's like, you have to be, you know, it ba- it's basically tightening everybody up. You got, you got, you got women out here getting abortions left and right. You know what I'm saying? You know, because they in the business. You know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. in the game. It's going to be hard now. You know what I mean? Depending on what state you in. But you got to explain why they're doing that. Depopulation. Yeah. Exactly. So when they did these abortion changes, mm-hmm. they're telling us now that the rates of birth control are skyrocketing. Because women are fearful for it. So now they're going to go put on birth control to stop the kids. 
What's that? Uh, Vasectomies too. Yeah, um, um, Bill Gates. He said it at a at a at a, at a TED talk. Was it a TED talk or the what? Were conf- you talking about in, in ten years? Yeah, a, a, bio, a biochemical like warfare. No, 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 no. Or when he was said, when he said, he said he talked about climate control. He said, well, the only way to cool down the earth is through depopulation, uh, fossil fuels, and something else, but. The other, one, the last one is, is irrelevant. Once he said depopulation, he said, "Well, look." The crowd started laughing, like I, it was a weird laugh. You can Google it. It was a weird laugh. They're like, they're laughing, like we don't know if we laughing at you or laughing, like mm-hmm. niggas, you crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You about to kill a bunch of folk. Yeah. So he said, "We trying to get the number down, this emissions number down to zero. He said, "Now." We we if we can get this population decreased, you know what I'm saying, by some odd percent, whatever percentage he said, he said through vaccinations, through um uh planned parenting, planned parenthood, and something else. You have to Google it. But he's basically telling everybody what he's doing. And he's doing it. And we're just sitting here saying, like, we see it, but we don't see it. We hear it, but we don't hear it. Nobody's saying nothing. Nobody, they're censoring it. You know what I mean? They are, they're telling us what they're doing before they do it. And we're just not even paying no attention. Because we're, we're focused on all this mass outrage. They, they, got, mass the, they got the, they got the Megan the Stallion. <laughs> this. You got the, now, now yeah. every day it's a new court thing. You got the young thug thing. Yeah. You got the, 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 my algorithm it feeds me a lot of bullshit like and i'm like i'm ha- i'm having to go and physically search for the stuff that i like yep. like decorating or planes flying how do, how does it work when planes fly or send me that please can you go can you on um, do you got service okay yeah yeah just just send it to me if you get a chance when you okay. get a chance um the bill gates depopulation plan you could just type it okay, in cool. and just play it he could tell you better than i can <laughs> I said, let it be his words let, not and it's just right there yeah. in plain view there's you cannot misconstrue <laughs> nothing yeah. you can't misconstrue and nothing I mean, it's we're there talking about a man that's buying up all the farm all land. the farmland yeah come on man because he knows where it's gonna go so and it's like i don't want you yeah. know I, I i don't want to be the i used to be the one to to when i first really uh started like making a name for myself Mm -hmm. uh i was heavy into conspiracy theories Mm -hmm. and i would say stuff like that and and then one of my partners is a mason and somebody that's a higher up mason Mm -hmm. let him know like listen tell gunplay chill because i even named my first record label my independent little record label that mm-hmm. I was trying to start. I named it Black Bilderberg. Now, you know about the Bilderberg group? Mm-hmm. That's what so, but I spelt it just different. But once they, I started promoting it. I'm like, yeah, Black Bilderberg. You know what it is? Mm-hmm. That's when I got the call, like, don't do that. And I'm like, all right. So so now I just, I, I'll, I'll throw out little tidbits Little whoop de whoops, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not really gonna start going in, um, because first I like to have my facts in front of me. Well, I mean, it's the same One. method that they use, yeah, to control slaves during slavery. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same time. They just learn. They just apply that now to the entire world. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. we. Fuck the, the blacks. We can world. make the whole world slaves now with the, with the same mentality. With the same, you know, and when you look at it, it's like who's making the decisions? Yeah, white men. Yeah, you know, they they're the ones that still making the decision. It's just on a bigger level. We're gonna let you think you're free. Yeah, but at the end of the day, guess guess who really making the fucking yeah. decisions? Yeah, we are. Yeah. So 
and we can we can we can literally just with all the money we making we can pool together resources and be on our own and oh, won't need what they anybody to come for Kanye from, shit. Kanye. from from music we won't need them we don't you know yeah. we don't need them now anymore for real mm-hmm. but from music to food you know what I mean to education we could you know I don't know, man, but it, I, it's it's yeah. too late now for real though. I, I just see everybody just we just finna implode. It's 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 it's, 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 it's all late. fucked up. It's too late. It's just, it's, late. it's to the point where it's just like just keep keep the 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 your gen like your children. Just let them know. Put them on game. You know what I mean? Strictly like like because you can't tell nobody else out here anything. They are so lost. They lost. You, they, their attention spans is, uh, is like a child. You can't mm. even keep their attention that long to even tell them some some real information. You know what I'm saying? Like some, like even like down to financial literacy. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like I just now learned financial literacy through her. Mm. Just now, I always I can get money. What did you learn about it? What she teach? She you? a trust fund baby, so she <laughs> she teaching me about trusted funds and all yeah. kind of uh, and how to put cars into the trust and the business. How to and the tr- how to, right? Oh yeah. man, it's, and now it's like a whole a different can of worms I don't opened up. Now it's like <laughs> okay, good, but I can't. I can make money. I just don't know how to. I'm, I, it's embarrassing to say, but I, I don't care. There's a lot that's of there's a lot of there's I a lot of people re- out there. Like that's real. And that's your first fucking step to, yeah. to fixing it. Yeah. Is when you can't be honest yeah. about and what's going on. Honest with you yourself. Know like, yo, my credit is not good. Yo, <laughs> I am fucking up my money. Like, you have to accept it. Like, yeah. listen, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then I got to that point where I accepted it. I'm like, you know, um, my my ex-wife and all my child support situations and the, just a lot of stuff that, that, that was messing up my credit. So I would have to buy everything cash. Yeah. Everything. You know what I'm saying? If I want to get a place, you know, I got to get it in a way where, you know, I got to get the hook up. I mean, sometimes cash is good. Like, if you buy a house. Yeah, not that. I not, mean, the ass and still put it in Yeah, but not not that kind of living. Like, yeah. just getting a condo. Yeah. Renting a condo. Rentals. Put you know what I'm saying? Put dollars down. You know what I'm I, saying? I was fucked up with like, literally. Motherfuckers is putting twenty thousand dollars down to live in a fucking man, condo in Florida. I ain't gonna hold you, man. <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga got to live on CPs, man. Like it was fucked up for a second. It's like, like I'm, I'm paying all this money, it's, it's, but I ain't owning nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm not, all right, man. I'm That's done what I'm with this saying. Shit. Like people like you, you gotta come. You gotta spit the game. You gotta let these young, yeah, man. You got to know, like you got to understand there's ways you could, you could, you could. You don't have to, like, like I know I I get it. The urge of going to the club and spending the money on them bitches and the bad bitches, and you want this My one. And withdraws a hundred dollars. What? If he go to the club with his friends, <laughs> he goes to he goes to the ATL. He a hundred dollars. Once a hundred dollars is gone. It's, nah, it's a wrap. It's so hard for me. That's why I don't even go no it's more. It's a wrap. He's can't. a he's a budget friendly man. Like nah, she got listen. me into being a budget. Now I'm a budget friendly man. <laughs> he probably be like, "This is what you got for the girl. That's it." Like I'm so <laughs> sick of what like you know how much shit she got me for Christmas. I I'm sick. Why? Because it's like I'm on budget now. Yeah. I'm on my budget now. It's not you know what I'm saying. It's like. It's like, it's not like we ain't got it, but now if I get into a mind frame of budgeting, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. She, like, Listen, she teach, I, she's good at it, but then she'll go <laughs> around and fuck around and go spend eight bands on some shit. Damn. No, I On Christmas. It's, it's, okay. I'll, I'll, it's I'll, Christmas and our anniversary in the same weekend. Oh God! See, I don't. I, I, we don't get into the exchange of them gifts. Me and my husband, so we don't even really celebrate Christmas. I'm looking for a restaurant right now for us to go to. Old Christmas. I'm like, like I told. Her, I said I don't. I'm, I'm at that age too. I'm 43. I don't care about no yeah. damn gifts. I, I get you. I'll get you some. You can get me some nice. We can uh, take, a <laughs> take a picture with it. Call it a day. But she's. But I, hey, look, I have I've never had that before. Yeah. So this is like my Aww. first time somebody's really buying me something, and you know what Aww. I'm saying. So it's like, all right, I get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. 
Cause. But no, budgeting is is good, and I learned how to do it early on, marrying my husband. Because you know, us being young, twenty four, he's twenty six. Um, when we got married, and then I'm pregnant, and you know, he's working, making fifty thousand dollars a year, and a lot of people would be like, "Oh, in two thousand six, fifty thousand dollars a year is decent." No, the fuck it's not. <laughs> No, the fuck it's not. I was just telling somebody during a podcast today. My husband did not believe when I said that I fed us for a whole month because we ate so good on $150 a month. When we didn't get no food stamps, nothing. Farmer's market? Yes. That's exactly what I thought. Look, that's exactly, Come what, on that's now. exactly what I said. Come on now. I was in the Asian market, the only on black now. girl. Come on now. And my husband would be like, bitch, where you get lamb chops from? Shit, they were $9 Come on a now. pack. Boy, I was spent four, $500 <laughs> in Publix. That was my flex. And you, and you can see it. $600 count. in Publix with um, fish and this and that. Now a hundred and fifty dollars we still got a hundred dollars a hundred and seven to be exact. We still got three pineapples, big <laughs> fat ones sitting up on top of my refrigerator I, right now. Fruits and it was vegetables. Cheaper. In 2006, 2007, imagine, 2008, man. like my my friends who were African put me on to it. Yeah, so I would. My friends would be like, "Oh, I'm going to Publix. I'm going to Kroger. I'm going to out. You know, out. Fuck That's that. What I used to- I'm over there trying to learn to speak Korean. How much is this? <laughs> they be like, "Look, the apple was ten cents." <laughs> <laughs> man, give me ten minutes of the motherfuckers yeah, for a dollar. Yeah. And we got and the Come shit on. would last all month. Come on. I mean, I, and we probably got down to the last two days and that's when we would eat out. We didn't we didn't eat out like that. Yeah. Like we didn't. I we cooked every night. Yeah. And you could still do that at yeah. the farmer's market. It may be two fifty now, but yeah. imagine two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. in yeah. groceries. One restaurant lunch now for us. Come on, a like hundred dollars. Let's go. Look, Come on, I man. was just, I was just telling her when I was on the podcast today. Changing, man. Listen. I went my first time. She took me my first time. Uh, what two weeks ago <laughs> to the farmers almost, market? Uh, almost three weeks mm-hmm. ago. We still got shit. You she puts everything out. Quality meat. Quality meat. And listen, on, there's man. another spot because I'm from. You know, I lived in Atlanta for like 20 years. Food Depot. Food Depot is like, it's a grocery store, but it's a butcher. It's a butcher, uh, uh, like a butcher market or whatever. And so they, they have the meat in the back. So they would go ahead and, you know, pre-cut the meat for you because it's fresh when it come in. Mm-hmm. But you would get strip steaks, six strip steaks for like $6. Yeah. And they cutting it fresh. But yeah. people wouldn't go in there because it was the hood. They were like, oh, no, it's the hood. Fruit, they would package it up for you. Healthy foods, you buy four pairs for fifty nine cent. Uh, you got your, but they would uh, try to portion it out to where you can make enough for meals. Yeah, and people would be looking down on Food Depot and they'll walk right in the Publix. I'm like, well, you right, go boy, right you in the Publix boy. if you want to. Bitch, I'm over here in Food Depot. They like, what's nah. up, Tasha? What's <laughs> yo, going on? Yo, yo. You saw my video last <laughs> night. Perfect. Let's go. You know and, what I'm saying? And on the way out, on the way out, yeah. On we leaving. And I'll go get one of those. Uh, what is it? The the Colombian juices yep. that be in the big old things. Yep. And then it's one of my. I hear GP. <laughs> it's one of my homies. I went to elementary school with. He got a whole uh, uh thing of what is it? Vegan Haitian food. Vegan in vegan. the spot in the right there when you walk you. into the farmers market on your right hand side. It's right there. It's a See. vegan Haitian food. Uh, vendor right yeah, there and, and they he take owns EBT. it yeah <laughs> listen I have friends all day they they get in six seven hundred dollars in food so much that they will go sell their shit because listen they got groceries they trying to give away yeah yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go bad. At the farmer's yeah. market. Yeah. You can't farmers do that market. in Publix. Man, and you better go early. Yeah. I it's, went early, early. Damn it. So <laughs> early, a lot of the shits wasn't even open. But we went packed. for certain. Yeah. It's when, On the way out the line, I'm like, thank God we came yeah. in this shit early, baby. I'm like, boy. Listen, listen. And there's one in uh, Atlanta, too, called H-Mart. If it's Dum Dum, and then there's H-Mart. You know what I'm saying? I don't cook much now because I got a little money. But <laughs> it's because I have to, you know, I have to maximize my time. Yeah, I'm like, so yeah, listen, I yeah. just pick my little healthy restaurant yeah. and that's where I go. Yeah. But like, even that, like, I'm, I'm always trying to share a meal. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah. get your own damn food. I'm like, well, you know, I'm trying to budget. We spent 100 yesterday, yeah. 100 for dinner yesterday. Yeah. You know, that shit started to add up. But he's like, eat. Because st- I still got that, 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 
we gotta conserve. We gotta conserve. Yeah, we gotta yeah, conserve. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, but now nah, I be trying to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a bad host. Nah, you good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad host. That's I, I, I stuck it out a little <laughs> bit further this time. I was like, yeah. <laughs> my bad. Listen. Nah, you good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here you go. Look, you know what I'm saying. Nah, but like, yeah, shit is real. It's just. You know what I'm saying? But um, as far as... Let's talk about this YSL situation. Yeah. First, listen. I thought they was going to stick to the to the, to the to the guns and say, this is a purse company. But they just needed them to admit that it was a gang. And you know, you know, I hate to say it, but 6 yeah. 9 had a point. You heard what 6 9 said? I saw what he said. He had a point. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, you know I'm facing I'm, that many years. And I'm not finna even speak on like you know what I'm saying because I like. So what do you think Young Thug should do in his situation? Everybody, even his brother, just cop the plea and get out. <sighs> do you? Th- I mean, do you feel like it's pride at this moment? Um, pride for what? What you mean? Because he's the only one not taking a plea. He want to take it to trial. But if everybody else has already admitted. And I mean, at this at this point, you got to take it to trial. What you, what you got to lose? What you got to lose? You got to lose everything. What 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 what's the plea? What they they're not even offering them a plea. They just want him. Yeah, at this point, they, everybody already said it, so they just want him now. So it's like, all right, so fuck the plea now. Let's go. Now they're ready. So it's like, I feel like. You think he's getting out? I don't know. Anything's possible. You, you, Anything If he is called possible. you from jail today To tell you to go to Puerto Rico tomorrow On his behalf To get a goat and a chicken Would you do it? <laughs> <laughs> For thug For thug I think do? I would dog I think I would I think I would man I ain't gonna lie That's a, that's a, that's a real soldier right there I hate to see him going through this Yeah Um, um But And it might be, it might sound a little harsh, but mm-hmm. when we jump off the porch, whatever porch you jumped off of, when we did that, we knew what we signed up for. At least I did. Mm-hmm. At least I know when I jump off this porch, I could get my brains blowed out. I can go to jail, and when I go to jail, I got to shut the fuck up, and I got to wear that. I got to wear that. So there's no in my mind, okay, I'm going to go to jail, but I could tell on this nigga. It's never been in my mind frame. Mm. I'm 43 years old, though. I might be old school. Mm-hmm. The new shit is I went to war. I went to war, and a nigga called police on me. That's when I first realized that the game was fucked up, when I <laughs> caught my life sentence and whooped the shit. In 2011 and uh, in, t- in 2012, and for armed robbery, and, and mm, yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, so he called the po- he called the police on me. Like that's when I knew this game is fucked up. These that's niggas what is going. With ASAP Rocky, they gonna call police on you. This nigga was doing business with him and called the police on him. They gonna you gonna whoop him. You gonna whatever you gonna do if you shoot at him or what. And it, it got it got way messy. That was just the you know what I'm saying. That was the tip. It got shit got super messy. You know what I'm saying after that situation, and and it's like I know what I signed up for. You know what I mean? Even though I went off emotion and I always told myself I'd never rob a nigga for jury or money, i only take their dope. And I always did that till they killed my nigga Peasy. You know what mm, I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, done, nigga, done, nigga done hit niggas with dummy bricks and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And running off with all kind of shit. And once they killed him, I'm like, you know what? I'm a, you know, kind of going... Relax. I'm going to chill. I ain't going to, you know, because I, I used to rob niggas, man. <laughs> the what you said. So, I did not Because I know, I know, because I know you like, like, what you talk about? Like, I got to start from the beginning. I, I kind of got that when you said. Yeah. Oh, um, robbery. Look, I, I used to I rob niggas. I just had Kill Bill here. Nigga said, 
I rob niggas. I rob <laughs> niggas, dog. And I only rob niggas for dope. <laughs> I give you a dummy brick. I, or, or, or I have my nigga run out the back door with shit. <laughs> you know, shit kill, you know Kill Bill. I don't know him, but I... I <laughs> <laughs> that say, this is the longest I done been out. Four years. Nigga, I, I be the scamming boy, I know or robbing. He, I know what he going through, boy. I and know. he say he paranoid in a motherfucker. He say he always like this. I, I believe him, man. It's, 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 it's real, bro. It's like that, my nigga. And it's like, but we have a choice, man. We can... You know what I you know what you know what I found? What's what that? I found that really um took my life to the to the next level, What's man, that? is uh manifestation. Mm. Manifesting. Uh I used to self sabotage myself without knowing. Because I would manifest what I wanted. But I'll be like, it's too good to be true. This can't. This, and I, and I, and you're and thinking I, of all the bad shit you done did. It, yep. And it's like, it's, this don't happen like this. This yeah. good shit don't happen to me, bro. And yeah. it's like, then I'll self sabotage myself where it won't happen, and I'll fuck it up. And once I seen that I there was a pattern of that, that's when I started. You know, I broke the pattern. I said, okay, now we're gonna manifest and keep it. We're mm -hmm. gonna manifest and 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 be grateful mm -hmm. for it. We're not gonna just manifest and blow it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, what made you retire from robbing niggas? Um, Facing the life sentence? Oh no, that case. So, okay. <laughs> so 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 when I told myself I wasn't doing, I wasn't really after they after they God bless the dead they killed Peasy. Um, <clears throat> I uh situation happened where you know i was i was fucked up and the nigga do tax stuff okay tax stuff and stuff and okay stuff. you ain't gotta you know explain right. the hustle and you know what i'm saying and some money was missing and and i say okay you know i, I warned him i warned his right hand man i said don't play with me Mm -hmm. Have you know some paper? Have my paper, whatever, whatever. And they, I guess, shoo shooed me like I was like that, like I wasn't gonna do nothing or whatever. So I, I mm -hmm. told him, and then I every every weekend he he's a trick at the club, <laughs> and he wears his jewelry every weekend from Friday to Sunday. I know his routine. And one day I tried to just check to see if. I told somebody, hey, I'm up, I'm coming up over there by the shop. And I already know he has his jury on. When I get there, his jury is off. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, I see, I see, I see what you got going. You, you know what I'm coming for. You know what's up. Yeah. You know you owe me. You wouldn't take your jury off if I come through. Why would you yeah. take your jury off if when I'm coming through? I'm not, I know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So you know you owe me. So and you, you know you shoo me. And yes. you know I'm coming to collect. So he, he did that one weekend and then the next weekend he 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 had it on again i waited one more weekend and then i was just, that was uh april 13th friday the 13th actually mm -hmm. and it was raining cats and dogs and my car I sent my co-defendant in there um he at the last minute he wanted he don't want to do it he get cold feet i snatched my gun from him and uh long story short you see the, the footage yeah. and shit like that and and when when I left, you know, I'm thinking we're gonna shoot it out now. Nah, the nigga say, boy, tell that nigga gunplay, I'm finna ruin his life. If he don't bring my chain back, I'm calling the police. Uh uh. I couldn't believe it. Uh uh. I said, you, oh, you calling the police? I, I, this, it got messy after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, and he even brought up the messiness that happened after that too. Yeah. Like I'm like, how many times are you just gonna tell? Like, <laughs> you just like you are on a warpath right now. <laughs> like, like you nigga, just gonna just to be oh shit. my god. You don't this is niggas try to burn down my mama house. Uh -uh. All kind, oh, it got messy, really, really, really messy, man. All kind over, of shit over him owing you money. You go to collect the chains, and then from there, yeah, everybody's his there. partner house gets. All type of shit just went fucking haywire, bro. It just got hectic. And after that, that's when I said, you know what? I have to start. I have to start, like, getting, like, when I was in there and I was doing 
Now I'm glad we got into on 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 this because mm-hmm. now I'm going to show you the power, the real power of manifestation. Mm-hmm. This is when I realized that I uh, well I didn't know I realized I had it then, but when it hits, it's like if you're a boxer and you 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 you're stunned and now you're fighting on instinct mm-hmm. on what you learned from when you just started boxing it just comes to you you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so now i'm in a jail cell and my instinct of surviving mm. came to me and it wasn't nothing physical it was all here i said i'm sitting in the room i'm like i'm sitting in my cell i'm like dog i'm finna really go to fucking jail no i'm not I'm not going to jail. 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 I'm not sitting down for this shit. I'm finna beat it. I don't know how. I'm threatening nigga, all kind of shit, just sending mm-hmm. messages, all kind of bullshit. Yeah. He's still going through with the shit. I'm like, all right, bet, bet, bet. But I really, really did not see myself sitting in no jail. I didn't see myself telling. I didn't see myself getting convicted. I didn't see myself doing none of that. I just didn't see myself in jail. I said, it's going to iron itself out. Mm -hmm. Don't know how, but it will. It fucking will. I don't don't know how, but it's going to happen. And three and a half months went by, no bail. Finally get bail, 150,000. Boom, I'm out. I'm on house arrest, couple months. Beat the case. He never cut any court. Beat the case. Boom. Right? Why you don't why you think he didn't come to court? Houston, get ready for a New Year's Eve experience that will go down in history. I'm live on stage at the Bayou Event Center. December 31st, doors open at 8 p.m. and the show starts at 9 p.m. Followed by an after party that might shut down the city. And let me take the time to thank our sponsor for this event, Rockstar Wireless. And if you're looking for reliable and affordable wireless service, Rockstar Wireless has plans starting at just 19. $19.99 a month. That offers unlimited talk, text, and up to 15 gigabytes of high-speed data. Visit rockstarwireless.com now. Hurry up and get your affairs in order and get ready to bring in New Year's Eve with me, Tasha K, on stage. Tickets are selling real fast. So reserve your seat now via my website, tashakonstage.com, and I can't wait to party. With y'all in Houston. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. It's going to do like a small introduction. Yeah. Just so everybody know who you are. You are the ex of Krishan Rock. Correct. You were with her for how many years? About five years off and on. Do you feel that Krishan Jr. is yours? I feel that there is a possibility. Oh. Krishan knows that I'm not just going to let her not be accountable. Mm. It's no reason that we were sleeping together and I can't get a paternity test. You slept with me on Blue's birthday. I didn't know that. Yeah. Are you shocked at to see how on the internet right now with Krishan alleging that Paseki made her eat her at seven when she was like 10 or something? I was seven. About you made me eat your I remember that too. You said, well, I'm not going to speak specifically on their situation because I don't know, mm-hmm. but I do know the Malone's family history isn't the most clean cut, so mm-hmm. I wouldn't put it past them. Watch this full program and other exclusive content on www.tashaklive.com. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Oh no, God bless him. (laughs) But... (laughs) Uh, nah, he he ended up turning out to be a, a, a an informant. He mm. got a couple other niggas locked up in Atlanta and uh, Tallahassee and all kind of shit. So he been a fuck boy anyway. Oh got, shit! Got, but um, he uh, after that, I said to myself, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm in there and there's a dude across from me. After I beat everything, there's a dude across from me named. His name is B-Boy. I mm-hmm. think you you might want to... Matter of fact, he needs to be your next interview. Okay. Actually. I'll set that up. Please, can you I do will. me that solid? I will. Absolutely. He has to. You, you got my word. To you have my word. This fucking story. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. We will get B-Boy in the wine cellar. He drink wine, too. Yeah, um, yeah he'll drink a little. I don't know, because he's on... He got papers. He got, like, 20 years papers. 
Damn. Okay. You just did 20 Fuck. in the county. Not okay. even up the road. Yeah. In you the got county. His I got every. I, he so just got hey, out. Hey, so hey. listen. Okay. I met him. He was 11 years in, right? In a one man cell across from me. And his co defendant, they're facing a needle for multiple murders. What? Yeah. And his co defendant just got sentenced to double life, right? They, they beat the needle, got double life. He's, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Z. Um, now, fast forward, COVID, he was supposed to go to trial. COVID came, COVID hit, fucked everything up. I went to his opening arguments in his trial. And uh, from reading his, his paperwork and, and when, when, he, uh, and when I was in there, mm -hmm. I was reading it, you know, and passed it to me through the, through the CO and shit, gave it to me, and I'm reading the shit. And I'm like, it don't really, really say your name in here like that. I see another name in here, mm -hmm. but it's not your name like that. I see mm -hmm. they, you know, it's a couple of the woo, 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 woo. Long story short, um, there was really no way for him. He, he wasn't coming home. He was going to get sent up the road. You know what I'm saying? Everything is looking fucked up for him. But I figured out this thing called manifestation after I got out. And after I start really doing research on how to self rehabilitate myself, mm -hmm. I was googling shit and shit. <laughs> like if, I, if you really want to do something, yeah. you can make it happen. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm now I'm going down the fucking rabbit hole, going down the rabbit hole. Then um, I buck up on manifestation. Man, what is this? Okay, boom. I'm like, damn, I've been doing this since a kid. Like for real. Like when you're when you're when you're mm -hmm. young, your imagination. That's your manifestation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the older you get, people put limitations on that. Oh, you can't do that. Right. You can't do this. Right. This is not possible. You can't. That's this why you can't tell nobody what the fuck you're doing. Exactly. You just do it. Exactly. Yeah. So now I realize now it's, now it's hitting me like a ton of bricks. Like, y'all been doing this shit the whole time. So now let me try to, let me try to hone my skills with this shit. Let me, it's because, you know, let me try to start with something small, maybe a car. Mm -hmm. Started with a car. When the Tudor, uh, 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 when the Tudor Benzes came out, the Tudor S five fifties, I was in love with it. When I saw mm -hmm. it, I, I damn near busted a nut when before it came out, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I gotta have that car. I'm talking yeah. about, it. I'm, oh, I got obsessed with the damn car. I got the car, okay. And on top of that, I got the condo that maybe a couple years prior. My homeboy, he he had a, a unit in, and and I and I went to it, and this is like you know I'm getting mm. really used to the just trying to see the downtown life and stuff right. like that condo downtown. I'm like, man, I want one of these. Right. I end up getting the same a condo in that same building, with that same view, just higher up. You you know what mm. I'm saying? And I'm like, I got the car, I manifested the car I wanted at the time, the condo I wanted. At the time, my ex girlfriend, the big booty bitch, I wanted, put it that way, because that wasn't no really girlfriend. But I just yeah. wanted her ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and <laughs> got blinded yeah. and, and, and thought it was love. Nah. Yeah. Um. So now, once I figured that out, I'm still in contact with him, yeah. and I'm sitting there looking over at the water. I'm sitting there like, bruh. <laughs> I think uh, I figured something out mm -hmm. And I say you got to open your mind now What choice do you have What hurt would it You know What, like, else, what, what, else, what else What do you got to lose Where are you going tomorrow Exactly <laughs> what, what do you got to lose Cause and, he in jail Yeah okay. And I let him know I said listen I mean it starts with your With your mind Everything in your mind When you When you When you close your eyes I started with the basics I said, when you close your eyes, you do you see the first bitch you fuck? Can you remember the first bitch you fuck? Yeah. Do you remember what she was wearing? Sure. What eyes are looking at the bitch you fuck? What eyes? Your eyes are closed, mm -hmm. right? What eye? What eyes are seeing this? Mm -hmm. I say, stop right there. Do you remember? You're hearing your first gunshot, so you remember hearing your 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 your, your first your, your fight with your mom and dad. Do you remember your first song that you really loved that you played back to back to back? 
with your eyes closed, mm-hmm. what ears are hearing those songs? Are you, do you hear it? Mm-hmm. What ears are hearing that? Do you remember what you told the game to hit your first bitch? You remember the game you told her about? You remember the game you spit to that bitch and what park it was at? Do you see that? Do mm-hmm. you hear that? Do you, can you, you hear the words coming at you? What mouth is saying that? Mm-hmm. Your eyes are closed. Your ears are closed. Your mouth is closed. But you can still see, hear, touch, feel, smell, everything. So if you could do that in your mind, your mind doesn't know that that's the past. Your mind thinking that shit happening right now. Mm-hmm. So now you want to get out of you want to get out a confinement. What is the steps? You want to hear what the judge say? You'll be released on this day. What judges is he? White or black? Is the courtroom hot or cold? Mm. How many people are there to support you? What are they wearing? Mm. Okay, now, you get out. Is it raining outside? Is it sunny? Is it an overcast? Is it sprinkling? Can you smell the sausages and the arepas across the street? Mm. Is there a taxi cab right there? What do you see? What kind of cars they're picking you up in? What's on the radio? How does your mom smell? What are you wearing? Mm. What is your attitude? Is your mom smiling? Who's who's there? What is da, 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 da. you have to put that in there and once you start doing that and you think about that every day your mind doesn't know that that's not really there. Your mind is already there saying that this is what it is. So now you just tapped into the quantum realm, quantum mechanics and quantum physics. I even broke that down to him. As in, in layman terms, you know what I'm saying? With wave theories and all of that. Like try to try to unscientific the shit. You know what I'm saying? To make it where like, look, you know what I mean? Anything there's the variables just like these bottles. Yeah. All of these bottles are probabilities. Mm-hmm. You can die tomorrow, get rich tomorrow, buy a Ferrari tomorrow, a Lamborghini tomorrow, get a girl pregnant tomorrow. Have a son tomorrow. Um, um, uh, teach, so do whatever, whatever. So now, if you say you got all these options, but one of these, okay, I got to choose one. Okay, I'm going to choose this one right here. This is, I'm going to find the love of my life tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Everything, all of these variables and probabilities collapses. Mm-hmm. Whoop, it's done. It goes into one. Right, right here. This is what you want. All say if it was now, it goes to if all of these were women, and all of these were black, white, Asian, this, that, 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 and you say I, I want the Asian one. All of them gonna disappear, and you gonna get that Asian one, or that black one, or that mm-hmm. Spanish one. If save the, all these are cars, it'll all collapse. It's it's like it's like the the probabilities will no longer exist once you focus on that one thing. You know what I'm saying? It, ha- the un- it has no choice. It's like the laws of gravity. It's like if I drop this, it has to drop. If you want it, it has to come. There's there's no there's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It has to happen. There's no way that you can stop it unless you stop it. So now knowing this guy having this power, what you gonna use it on? You can use it for death. Oh, I want to kill that nigga that bad. Or I want to pimp this bitch that bad. Or I got everything I wanted. I got the bitch I wanted to pimp. I got the, the car I wanted. I got the this. I got the that. I'm You're like, all right. changing that into. Yeah. Now you could change it into. And make it work for you. Make it work for you. Legally. Legally. Yeah. And get out of just get out of jail. Yeah. And, and the process is mom, his dad, his, I believe his brother and his uncle. I believe, don't, don't, don't mm-hmm. let me lie, but. It was about three, four family members died in the process of waiting. And um, his father was the main one saying, you're going to get home. I'm going to see you, son. You're coming home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh. And he got out the, his father's birthday recently, just now. And I was wow. there I'm on Zoom. I went to the court dates and uh, like because they had um, mm-hmm. last uh, they, when they went back to trial again. I was there for a couple of them, but the last day of uh, uh, what they call it the the uh, uh, closing arguments. We went for the closing arguments and then they went for like sentencing or whatever they was gonna do. Um, and I was on Zoom and the judge was like, after all the fluff that they was talking, he was like, okay. 
So on this count of murder um, and, um, in the first degree, uh, I think he copped out to one murder, but uh, it was two murders and, and one of them, it's a lot, I, I can't remember. Yeah, let him tell me. But he let him do. tell it, let him tell it. Yeah. And I sat there and watched the judge say, so Mr. Cadet, you'll be home Say, uh, yeah, you should be home before Thanksgiving. He said, Monday, Tuesday, give or take, da da da, the mm. process. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I just told you what this judge, what does the judge gonna, when is the judge, what is he saying before this? I'm like, what is the judge gonna say when you're there? Is he saying you're coming home, you'll be released? All you have to do is say what he's gonna say. Mm -hmm. Think about what he's gonna say. You're gonna be released on this date. You're gonna come home. You're gonna time served. You're gonna probate. Whatever the hell you're coming home, you will be released. And that that he's saying them same words. He's in. He's sitting down. I'm on Zoom. We're both watching this shit. And then he like, and then when he when he got back in the cell, he called me. He like, yo, I say, bro, <laughs> did you just hear this man? And this is from 2012. Damn. Ten years ago. Damn. We had this conversation and, and and like I didn't tell him about the manifestation mm -hmm. power until maybe 2017, 18. Mm. And that's when it was like, and now look, five years later, six years later. He ain't serving life. He home. He's home. He might have 20 years probation, but. I'll take that any day with being in the One cell. man cell? Listen. Come on, man. <laughs> Listen. Come any on. Day. I mean, shit, are we all on probation? If the I moment we fuck up, we're going to jail. I'll, I'll let him show you. I got all of, he got all of, like. No, for real. I'm going to get his he number got, yeah. and I'll call him and I'll get him. And um, that'll, that'll be. I want him for January when we when we talk about um you know, the manifestation and the law of attraction and yeah, things like that. Yeah. So I think it'll be good, yeah. you know, starting off. Because he's, because he's, so. he, 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 is he shy? Be, is he camera shy? I don't know. My dog is street nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, 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 you know, he can adapt to anything, well, man. Well, I'm calling if he's <laughs> yes, like, listen, I am, listen, I am. So. And, and when I tell you, man, he got a story to tell. Yeah. No, your your story is incredible. So I couldn't even imagine like what his story is gonna be like. Your your baby mama over here, I can tell her hips is hurting. <laughs> and I, I I know look, I can have you podcast go for five hours. I'm not gonna do that to you because you eight months pregnant. She probably want to be somewhere laying down. I get it. Thank you so much for just being patient and. You know. She's good. She she yeah. her, her pain threshold is like oh, through the roof, gosh, but man. it's getting to the point where it's not. Now it's starting to bother her. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You're 24. You'll be fine. <laughs> You're 24. Yeah. You'll be fine. I had my my son 37. No drugs or anything. No drug. Well, you had a boy. I had a boy. Well, no, no. Boys are easy though. No. No, no. <laughs> she say no. <laughs> when I tell you, I got to seven centimeters, I was good because I had a doula, and the doula set up uh, things for my husband and I to do. So like when I had contractions, she like she wrapped me in a sheet, and I would take the sheet, and he would hold the sheet, and I would fall back into the sheet and have a contraction, or I would sit on a ball, and he would have the sheet around me. And I I would just like kind of roll it out in the ball when I'm having a contraction, but then. Of course, being in a hospital, after you get to certain centimeters, they want you to lay down, even though when you stand up, the contractions don't hurt as bad, but they don't want you giving birth. Oh, you know, let me stand up. I can't do this. I'm oh, but God. if you have a home birth, you can do that. So what I'm oh saying, like, God. but when you go we to the wanted, hospital. Um, a doula, but they told us it's the COVID rules that we couldn't bring her. Lies. So, well, you can have a home birth. You can have a midwife come into your home. You want to change your mind to do that for us? Yeah. But yeah, if you're high whatever. risk, yeah, she's high risk. Then you need to be for sure, sure. Then you super need to, high risk. You need to be like with a doctor because you don't want your yeah. life being in danger. Yeah. You know, and then they have to choose you or the baby. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to go through those things. But um, it hurts bad. And when I, you can't I even explain. You can't explain the pain. Thank you. You can't. But no. But I'm being honest with her because so <laughs> she knows. Yeah, I was going to blindsided. And she was like, "Holy shit!" Like I hit seven centimeters, and I was like, when they told me to lay down, I said, "Oh my god!" It was just like a moment just hit me, like this shit is real, right? This shit, is, I was good. I was good. Eight centimeters. What is eight centimeters? What is that? 
when your like da- cervix like, open up. Like that big, this is what Make it big, so the ba- and the baby's coming down the the canal. So, so like just right, and it just opens up nine she centimeters. Mm-hmm. I'm shaking to the point where I have no control over my body. I'm finna pass out. They're now. telling me don't push. Oh god! I like said push. I'm fucking pushing. Then the doctor comes in. Well, I'm gonna give you some fentanyl. I said, but you're not giving what? me no goddamn fentanyl. I Hell said, oh, God, no. I, I said, you're not giving me no. Well, you need something to relax because my body, I could not control my. It was an out of body experience. I looked at my doula. I never forget because I'm sitting there and they getting out all the stuff, and I'm ready to push it. I'm 37 now. My whole fucking pregnancy was fucked up, right? I'm sitting there. I looked over at the doula. My husband was over there. I said, please just take care of my kids because. You're out of body. It's like next to death. Oh, shit. Like, if I would have described going home, that moment right there, you have no physical, mental control over anything. That pain, you can't even describe it. And then magically, when it pushes out the baby, it goes away. You're just so happy. Nothing nothing was happening. You're so happy just to do it. It's not even like a happiness. Like, did I just... Did that just, just, just fucking happen? She said, did that shit just fucking happen? The ring of fire is a real thing. Yes. What's the fucking ring of fire? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I feel like the baby like, yes. already has her days and nights mixed up. So yes. she's at home sleep all night and I'm up, so that's, heartburn, twisting her to that's the That's how you're... Pain, baby got a lot of fire, hair. So I'm sitting here just... Baby got a lot of hair. Yeah, baby's got a lot of hair. I'm just here researching all types of stuff. I can see this ring before I'm like, oh, God. No, but it, it hurts. Like, I I couldn't even believe that I did that. I couldn't believe it. I was just like. <laughs> she said, I can't believe it. I looked at my doula. My doula was like, you're scaring me. She told me. She said, you're scaring me. Stop. I said, listen, we got power of attorneys. Just make sure my family is good. You I thought you was finna leave. That here. I ain't never in my life thought I was gonna die. When I tell you what I profess to the universe, it's a long time. <laughs> that moment right there, that was the only moment where I, I, I had I was like, this is all God at this point. This is all God. God. Hopefully he's heard everything that Hopefully I've asked for. Oh but God. it was a moment where it's just your ears start ringing oh. you, you, and you lose control. You're shaking like your body. It's like a cold that you can't stop. And like the baby's just ready. And I'm like, take it out. Take like and you just it's like you kind of want to just reach down there yourself and just grab the baby out. But they won't let you do that. So I'm like, you got to I'm supposed to be standing up. I said, if I stand up, the baby going to pop out. They say, no, lay your ass down. And I'm like, they had to fight me to keep me laid first, down. Like, I've already had a contraction. Oh, so I had like, my first real like, wake-up contraction. Yeah, like, I was laying in the bed. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Like, it literally brought tears to my yeah. eyes. I'm like, I'm freaking out. I'm telling him, I'm like, babe, it lasted for like 10 minutes. I was like, this is oh, all she needs is this much. She will relax. She will relax. Sh- yes, I'm positive. Her doctor already told her, yes. It's just grapes. That's all it is. That's it. It's just grapes. Well, let's get the, just the, like the best got, of the best just like of the got, best. So it's an actual <laughs> grape. I don't want no processed grapes. No. It's let's go like get grapes. the... No, it's, it's just sorry. grapes. She... Listen, I, I I tell women all the time, like... But you you'll have women on Instagram like make it look. Can easy. we make the grapes ourselves and do Bye, it? Richard. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> tired and like drained your third trimester. Yeah. Okay. I and I ate like, steak every day. Like so I never like. Steak. She's pescatarian, so I it's, never liked I any. I don't like red meat. I've yeah. never been a fan. I can't even stand it. In the third trimester, they knew me by name and they knew my order at Longhorn. <laughs> <laughs> Knew my name. <laughs> my son, when I tell you he don't eat no vegetables, all he wants is meat. To this day, like I never forget, like when we in Africa, they'll get on the side of the road, they'll get the 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 sliced lamb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The halal lamb. Yeah. They'll wrap it in like paper and then send it to you. When he see that lamb coming, my son is like three years. He's and he pick it up just like how the Africans do and eat that shit with the onions and everything. Like he eat, like he, I was just like, that's why. He yeah, well, she's like a, it gives me like the craziest headache where I feel like I'm going to die. Yeah, I I can't. I, I try. 
Yeah. And then because I your body not used to I it. But feel you her need shit, it. so I'm going through the damn shit too. It yeah. feels like I feel it in my. You need it. You probably just need to get some vitamin bags, and you'll be fine. Those cravings will go away. Maybe every other day, have a mobile person come to you and give you the vitamins because you're getting that from the red meat, the IV. Oh, the, the IVs. Bees. Yeah, the B vitamins. Because your boy, your boy is like you're needing that, and he's taking that from you. It's a girl. Need, oh, it's a girl. Yeah. Then you need it. So just get some vitamin bags. You'll be fine. They, and they call them like. Uh, you got people that you know people that do. You it. can Google it. They're mobile vitamin I IV. See, see no yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll come to your house and just IV her up and. How long is that? Like, 15, 15, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Man, come on. Yeah. Well, you drink an insurer? No. I'm a texture. You drink your girl, but it's not working. Yeah. Okay. I really do shakes. Okay. I am so weird. I can't do jello. I feel like something's going on in my brain where it's just gonna explode. You have, <laughs> but you gotta do something. Her food can't you, touch. You have to nutrition because then you will like. I'm telling you, like I've always had nice teeth, right? But because the baby stripped everything from me at 37, my teeth got thin, so I had to go get me veneers. Yeah, oh my gosh, she's messing up my veneers now. I'm 24. I'm telling you, shit is real. Like, like what babies mom, take, what like, yeah, babies take from you, it's not even funny. It's not it's fucking crazy. funny. So yeah, but no, she gonna be fine. And a little wine, I promise you. It, listen, it. Are y'all still active? Y'all still very active. I wasn't tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good because uh, you know me because of the the contractions and stuff. I couldn't be active like that unless I had a little wine to relax me. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah, like. But how much can she drink? Just that? Just, she, she'll know when she takes it. Her body will tell her, "Oh, oh you're good." Okay. She'll feel. Okay. She will feel okay. the instant ease okay. of, "Okay, you're good now." Okay. Well, I okay. Because like I, like I, yeah. I massage her back. Where I'm gonna start sending her a fucking invoice. Her muscles are tense. <laughs> I know. And the red wine well, will. Not, I will fracture ribs. Oh yeah! From what? The baby. fucking baby. She is fractured my ribs. Up under the, her foot. Because you must be small, friend. I was. Yeah. Yes, they told me so. I was very like small, and then the whole organs pressure thing, and this little rib right here is her favorite spot. To the point, like I'm bruising from the inside to the out. Yep. Bro, my son fucked up my bladder. It don't work the same. I gotta pee every like 10, 15 minutes. Oh my god! Damn, my son was I'm sorry, feet. baby. My son was with his feet like boom. <laughs> Boom. Like, I was like, boom. this motherfucker. <laughs> this, bitch, you hit my bladder one more time, nigga. Keep playing. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, but you're you going to be fine. So they're going to probably, they, you probably going to end up having a C-section. Well, they told me that so far, she, like, her head's dropped. She's in the birth Yeah, position. but the pushing, though. We did the 3D thing. Oh. She opened the eyes. Oh, in that so shit. she ready. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it always happens. Like, <laughs> my, both my kids look exactly like their dad. Like, she got his For real? Yes. already. And well, the thing is, my, my girls look But remember, I manifested it. I even, like, to the, to the, that's like, so what I'm talking about, this manifestation. Like, yeah. I, I when I hit rock bottom, and it was a situation with the employee or whatever, mm -hmm. and, uh, it was just a long, drawn out, out in public. You're talking about the lady that put the roots on. Yeah, it okay. was a big thing in public. And it was just like, I just was like, I'm over this shit. Like, yo, I say, God, I say, God, this is the type of woman I want. And I literally. I did that with my husband. You did? Yeah, see, let me tell you something. He was different, though. My best friend had a husband. I was never attracted to him. However. His attributes. I was like, if I want a husband, I want him to be just like that. Right. And I wrote down his qualities. Mm. A week later, I met Shay. Mm. There and you I go. Shay. And we rest is history. Seventeen years in. Woo. That's crazy because he did this list and I was done. <laughs> I'm telling I you, was I, was like, I was very, but I wasn't out like looking. But I just yeah. put it. I it's like you make the list. I wasn't out looking. It just. Yeah, like the thing about it is, is you give it to the universe you and you let it universe. go. Yes. You just trust, but you yeah. don't be like trying yeah. to do it for yeah. the universe. Yeah. It'll just happen. Because my husband walked up to me. He's not my type. He was skinny. He looked like he was 16 years old. I'm 24. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you, 
why you keep following me around? And he's like, what, what kind of books do you like? So he asking me all type of questions that niggas don't ask me. Like, I'm like, what, what do you mean? What type of books do I like? <laughs> the fuck like I, you know he, every day he would come talk to me and then like i just started to like him i was like i i got used to having our conversations every day like that's how it works yeah when my friend said his instagram was like girl get the fuck out of my face because <laughs> I had I had the I didn't, I didn't know who you was. had the dreads and stuff I didn't know about yeah. the rock, the rock, on the I Instagram know about the TV thing. Yeah. I seen bitches liquor clubs cars money jury I thought you were a scammer uh uh <laughs> not a I scammer he said well he looked at me he said I used to rob niggas <laughs> 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 like, listen Oh yeah, the, you no, know these blue chicks page. around here. They don't even know you can buy them. Like, yeah. it's like yeah. I told them they need to start consulting with me before they start. He like, actually shocked me. Like, I actually didn't know about his craziness mm-hmm. until we got off the plane mm-hmm. this time last year. Mm-hmm. I went back to a club and I had to beat a bitch up because of him. And she drops his name. I'm like, oh, you got a <laughs> I swear to God, didn't know anything. You got in a fight? Like two of the crazy girls slashed my tires over you. <sighs> Man, them girls be you girls be tripping, dog. My dad like they be tripping. I was so mad. I called my dad like I just got this whole fight. Like I had to fight this girl. She's a, she she'll tell you, she's obsessed with me unhealthily. She obsessed with, with you. Yeah, but no, no, no. But, but she even before that, she, she. He, he is not what the media makes him seem to be. <laughs> well, I don't know how you should remember him, but with me, I w- I couldn't believe it. Like my dad was like, this man literally headbutted a stripper in a strip club. He's literally trying to fight a case right now. He shoved a pistol down that crowd store. So here's the video. You're like, a good girl, huh? Yeah. 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 I was a very like that, structured. That's what it is. Strict. I never had structure. So once I met her, she knew what structure okay. was. And then she you, knows what budgeting is. And then you helped she, her to live a little bit. So come on. It's, it, it, yeah. it evens itself out. It, it balanced it out. See, I grew up with hood niggas like him. All my uncles are street niggas. I said, I mean. don't want it. I, I ain't got the, the, I have panic attacks. And I'm like, the police got you again, nigga? I, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any, I would have had a heart attack. Just, and I'll never forget this. I was dating one street dude. Real, I'm telling you, I was dating one street dude. How much money we got? We gonna finish this up. Right. Uh, well, we gonna get this a little bit to her. Yeah, there you go. Wait, is it sweet? It is a Cabernet, so it's a little on it's the... It's a little tardy. A little tardy. it's good, though. There you go. Yay! So, um, it's just a little bit. She's going to be fine. She's going to relax, too. Watch her back just... Uh. Oh, it's just too dry. It's too dry? It's too dry. Thank okay. you. But that's probably all you needed to... Yeah. yeah to you just get want it. to down it? No. Okay. She I got knows. some too. I got some better wine for you. But, um, <laughs> yeah, like I just... I remember one hood dude I, I dated. It was two. But the first one, he got locked up. He called me from jail. I ain't I ain't accept the call. You <laughs> shitty. They were like such and such call. First of all, I was on my auntie phone, and I didn't want to hear her fucking mouth. Oh shit! Cause that collect call, exactly. boy. This <laughs> is a collect call. And I knew call he from... needed some money, and I was like, hell no, nah, bitch. I'm not. I, I said I'm not about this life. I'm not about to go bail nobody out. <laughs> Nothing. I'm not about to do that. My husband should have been a police officer. He would never go to jail. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to worry about that. He would, he would tell on me before he tell on himself. Like, <laughs> listen. I was not about to date Yeah. I was in virginity at 21. See? Like, my parents didn't play that. Mm-hmm. The lawyers, the surgeons, and all them aren't. They're pussies. Yeah. I'm, it is. Well, I don't know now. That nerd dick can be something else now. <laughs> <laughs> you went out here, you got Carol City. She got the, she got that Carol <laughs> City in her voice. She done lost her. Yeah. The man that my mom tried to like, the Prince of Sierra Leone is my best friend. My mom, his mom was trying to get us to get married forever. Yeah. I'm talking about biggest lawyers, plastic surgeons. My dad said, go be a judge. You have a Harvard degree. Yeah. You have a Harvard degree? And Hampton. And what? And Hampton. But I have a Harvard degree. And, Ham- and what? Huh? But I have a Harvard degree in. Um, politi- was, like, political science. Okay. Public policy. Public policy. Okay, she's going to rewrite these damn laws and shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She about to go into the, uh, the yeah. alphabet. She okay. about to be an alphabet boy. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're going to be a fed. Mm-hmm. You let him know if somebody trying to put a case on you. Mm-hmm. There you go. Call me too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do nothing. You know, I just got a few family members that I'm trying to keep out. Like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> but opposites do a try. I'll never forget when I saw, was it Luke Skywalker? The Luke of the New from... Luke? Luke, Luke, Luke. Luke, Luke. Uncle Luke. Yes, okay. Uncle Luke. Uh. And he did the reality show. And yeah. his wife was a fucking lawyer. I said, but these ain't the bitches you got in your videos. Right. Right. I said, what the... F-? That's what I knew. I was like, these niggas is full of shit. Nah. See, what it is, you figure it out. <laughs> once you once you can have... Yeah. You can have, like... Like, you can have any female you want. Like, for real, for real. Like, not being, like... Mm-hmm. It gets to a point where it's like, come on now. It's not even exciting anymore. You want substance now. So when I got to the point where I was like, uh, like when I'm trying to manifest my wife now, mm-hmm. I say like she has to have like some kind of like education. I want a nerd. I want somebody total opposite that can teach me something Mm -hmm. because everybody I be around all the knowledge I picked up I be thinking I be smart as shit you know what I'm saying (laughs) I go to talk and they're like for real I'm like yeah yeah and then now like she's the one doing that to me I'm like for real she's like da 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 yeah Yeah. so it's like you know I needed that and then she comes from structure you know what I'm saying and I never had that you know Um, she, she you know she she knows how to budget. He gonna teach you how to be a better fed. The thing like the street. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He's been putting me on game already. I'm like, oh, I'm uh, gonna be like the best. Trust gonna tell me, you, it's nothing. He's gonna tell you how to put cases on all these niggas. Now, listen, what you gonna <laughs> I put do, baby? Cases on all these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually like, listen. Like, <laughs> like, undercover work. Yeah. But the connection that we got to get into the agency are like. Yeah. The person I sat down with, and I would say, I have a young lady who's yeah. in Miami, Florida, da, 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 and she's like, what? And she's dating gunplay? As a joke. As yeah. a joke. As a joke. I'm like, wow. She's like, yeah, he's married. She's married. <laughs> like, she can't be undercover officer for our agency. Like, she can work for us, but undercover's not going to work. He's too recognizable. Yeah. So. But she she's about to be on Love and Hip Hop, so she's gonna be too recognizable. Oh wow, you're gonna be on Love and Hip Hop? Yeah. You sign them papers, girl. It's coming. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. It starts in what, three weeks? Yeah. I, I was gonna tell you I wouldn't do it if I was you. You know what's crazy? I told him when he first asked me, I was like, I'm not doing it. The rela- it's like your relationship once you introduce it to the world nah, they, it's, they own it nah it's but see we're, she's so headstrong and I'm so headstrong and I've been here before so I know exactly what is co- next coming you know what I'm saying my last relationship it wasn't built on anything solid it was built on me on, on the love of her ass <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my ex. I was saying, I'm like, damn, I want to touch my, you. <laughs> yeah, it was like one of those, like, like one in a million shit. Yeah. So it's like, all right, that was her only asset, was that. So it wasn't really on a solid ground, you know what I'm saying? With 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 my wife, with my, I don't want to say my wife just yet. Oh, yeah, the world doesn't know yet. The, yeah, the, the world doesn't know yet. Uh-huh. But my baby, um, she, um, um, what was I just talking about? What you. Assets like what you? Oh yeah, see, we 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 solid. We solid. We're not. I'm not. It's not on 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 a on her ass or her looks or her money or anything. You know what I'm saying? It's it's what we want. We have the exact same dream the of the future together. But them goddamn producers or. They, 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 you, you give them what you want to give them, what you want to be seen. If you don't want stuff to be seen or aired out or put on TV, you don't give it to them. Um, what we have is, is nothing really drama filled. It's more obstacle filled. Okay. So it's overcoming okay. this, overcoming that, setting this up, this business. It's not, oh, you fucking this bitch. Okay. Oh, you back on coke. Oh, you doing this. Ooh, 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 ooh. I might have a drunk night. Uh, uh, uh. We'll drag it out. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Other than that, it's not that. Okay. My last. Exactly. And production knows that. 
Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So okay. it's 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 more of a uh me showing so the when, world. When is the next Jesus season of Love and Hip Hop Miami airing? We start. We start. Uh, what well, airs probably August of okay. next year, but we're gonna start shooting like January, February. Okay. okay. Yeah, the okay. week before the baby shower. Okay. We need her at the baby shower. Oh, I get to come eat some cake. Shit. Yeah, some good food and play some some baby shower games. You Cuban and he Puerto Rican and Jamaican. I better have some box tails, goddamn it. I actually was gonna cook. Girl, no. No, she's I know you can cook. No, but your baby shower gonna stress you out. And your back is already hurting. Yeah. But at first I was I was cooking. Okay. I had it in my head. Yeah. My husband and I will definitely come through now. Seriously. I'm serious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Turn white though. Okay. I just, I, I, just, I just love melanin and white. I keep me a white dress. Don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> love me some white. It's gonna Absolutely. be dope. I would be honored. It's gonna be so. Star. Albums. Any 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 um, records coming out? Um. Yeah. I got a record out now called Chevy Box. It sounds like the Ross. You record. released that a month ago, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's doing good too. Actually, I it's saw actually, that. With, with no real, you know, I'm I'm organic, man. I I I said. I I sell my dope to the fiends hand to hand. <laughs> I like that. I, I, this is my the best way to sell my yeah. music. You know what I'm saying? So I, I hand to hand with the Chevy Box record mm-hmm. is doing excellent. I okay. appreciate everybody like like that went out and 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 um, downloaded it. Okay. Saw the video. Um, I just put a studio in the house now, so now because okay. I know my daughter's on the way, and I'm not, you know, going to be able to go to the studio like that. So I'm gonna. Uh, you sure ain't. Nah, for real. <laughs> yeah. So I'm 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 gonna be releasing a few EPs okay. in the next couple months um, through a digital distributor uh, named uh, One RPM. Okay. Um, and um, um, in between there, putting out my Animal Shelter, which is my label animal with my shelter. yeah oh, yeah man. Animal Shelter Dog Check Wolf. Oh okay yeah okay, that's okay. that's you know what I mean that's me and my homies okay. and stuff like that. So uh, there's a few artists I got. So okay. um, yeah, as far as that, and then uh, next year I think we got a movie coming up. I got oh. an independent movie coming up that okay. um, it, it'd be um, they shot a few of them. Um, it was on what Tubi and. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so this one will be on there as okay. well. So, yeah. You got a lot of stuff going on. Yep. Yeah, I'm right. getting my teeth done. I'm trying to get like y'all pearly white. So, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm about, I'm about to be straight. Hold up, man. Everybody, <laughs> hold on. I'm on the way, baby. I had to. Ah, I went to smile after my baby. Like, okay, teeth, man. You got a beautiful smile, thank man. You, it's thank really you, nice. Thank Absolutely. You, thank you, thank you, <laughs> you so. too. I envy yeah. all of y'all. I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah, I just went. I just fl- took a flight over to Columbia. <laughs> came back the next day. That's it. I went to Columbia. I just went there. Like, all right, let's go. Yeah, Miami. I was just like, "What y'all charging? Columbia charging? Oh, I get on Spirit. I got on Spirit." <laughs> <laughs> And I yeah. was back the next day, so I just feel like they want to do too many appointments here. Yeah, Columbia. They said, "Come on over I here." I had no appointments. You have pr- yeah, good yeah. teeth already though. Yeah, so that's probably why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, y'all, yeah. y'all are all easy. I paid my actually the full balance. They got to yeah. bring out the yeah, jackhammer for my shit, huh? Like, no, well, Col- Col- Columbia shit, you gotta have that full balance. You ain't getting shit done. They won't cash on it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You ain't got no cash. Your ass ain't getting shit. So, mm-hmm. but no, I'm excited to watch. I'm excited to see the baby. I'm glad to see. Like, I can definitely. Tell changed because i was watching a lot of your old content yeah a lot of interviews and stuff like that and i was just like we definitely gotta uh, uh chop it up and kind of see where your head is at now yeah and um, i appreciate just so that transparent too. and that's why you really do good out here is because you real you yeah. ain't on that branded it's like i hate i, I yeah. told you fucking publicists and managers and shit they be yeah. fucking it up for yeah. a lot of artists and I'm yeah. like just let them be real yeah just let them be they self if you let them be they self they will sell more people yeah. don't want to hear that three question oh I can't really talk about that yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying it's like what the fuck we here for yeah. people want to yeah. know you they're yeah. buying from you now so yeah. I'm just glad that you you know because you do come from a, a, a era where you know y'all are taught to brand and dodge questions and yeah. shit like that yeah. you know what I'm saying so um, definitely enjoyed this definitely gotta have you yeah. back I'm gonna yeah. have you I'm gonna get his number and we're gonna okay. get him set up for the top of the year yes 
Absolutely. Yes. And anybody yes. else that you you know yes. you want to recommend to yes. sit down. Definitely. Most definitely. So definitely. yeah. Thank but you. thank you. Thank you, God bless. Thank you, baby. In the Anytime. wine cellar. Yes. yes, in the wine cellar, baby. You know what Absolutely. It is. <laughs> Listen. Okay. But no, um, I'm I'm excited. So just let me know. Let me give you have my number, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so just text me everything. And then um, 